check check one two three i'm checking the chat now i'm not just talking into a void are we good are we good can you guys hear me give me the thumbs up we good check 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 one two come on chat come on chat oh i guess that's a no we're getting no thumbs up here yes no yes no oh my god okay I, i'm gonna tell you guys straight up I was pumped with that intro. We had the cold open going. Everything on my, I made no changes. I made no changes whatsoever. I No joke, guys. No changes whatsoever. So I don't know what happened. I just called Shane in a panic and was like, what the hell is going on? This is so annoying. Ryzen just started. Okay, sorry for the technical issues right out of the gate, ladies and gentlemen. No idea what the hell happened there. I blame StreamYard. Flux capacitor again? Perhaps, perhaps. Uh, what's up, JD? What's up, Activate? Uh, eh, what's up, Shane? What's up, AJ? Good to see you guys. What's up, Son MMA? Sorry, guys, I got to talk a little quiet for this one. <laughs> a little quiet, not no uh, sound at all quiet. Just because my roommate upstairs is sleeping and it's friggin' late here in North America, guys. I got a whole pot of coffee. Ready to watch some Ryzen. Not the most stacked card here, but again, entertainment factor alone. I absolutely love this promotion. Not going to lie, I'm going to rewatch the intro later because like, that's like one of my favorite parts of the promotion, of the show. And uh, I was panicking. I was panicking. Yep. Uh, but anyways, we're good. We're good. Welcome to the City Life Project YouTube channel. We usually don't have sound issues like that like i said i'm blaming the streaming program i'm using like and subscribe if you haven't already we're gonna be here all night all morning for ryzen 44 and we we'll and we will be back next week as well for ryzen landmark 6 which will be in a cage every ryzen landmark show uh they do in a cage and yeah it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun some of the fights become absolute just absolute savagery Mostly because some of these guys don't know the rules. Much like Akino Shida, who grabbed the cage last time and was just stomping motherfuckers in the face. But anyways, thank you all for joining. Sorry about a little bit of the technical issues we had right off the bat, but we are back and we're good to go, ladies and gentlemen. We're back and we're good to go. All right, first fight on the card, ladies and gentlemen. And this one should be a good one. Activate A. He's got, uh, he's got a little money on this one as well. One of his locks on the card. So I'm just going to... Uh, update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and we'll get right to highlighting this next fight. By the way, for those who are new to Ryzen, for those who you know watched Ryzen before, you know how much I love Cold Open before every single fight. There's like a little intro video package before every single fight, even at the top of the card, even in the beginning of the card, like right now. All right, next fight here. First fight on the card coming up next. So we will highlight the fighters in just a moment. Uh, scared me earlier when I saw your Saturday 10 a.m., but then I checked back for you. Yeah, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. I'm not sure what was happening. Maybe, maybe there was an issue on YouTube. I don't know. But anyways, we're good now, guys. We're good now. Yeah, sound issue and because uh, I scheduled it at the right time, and I was like, oh, that, that looks weird. But anyways, we got the homies. We got the crew here. Uh, your roommates are bad for not supporting you right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, one of them doesn't care, and the other one doesn't care. It just sucks to, like, my little office here is right under their bedroom. Um, Joe's still at work. He's coming back. He'll be back from the bar soon, but uh, his fiance's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, Tamirov, Moneyline, and in some parlays. So if he gets clipped, I will be down bad. But I'm confident about one round KO for Tamirov. Let me know your predictions in the live chat too, guys. Let me know your predictions in the live chat as well. And uh, like I said, what, a, what an awesome cold open. What an awesome entertainment uh, mixed martial arts promotion. That is Ryzen. All right, we have Uzbekistan against Japan to start this one, guys. Let's highlight the fighters here. Let me know your predictions in the live chat as they make their walkouts, the epic walkouts here at Ryzen. Back in the site, uh, wait, are, 
They're in Saitama, right? Saitama Super Arena. Legendary spot for Pride events back in the day. Uh, Jay Leon Love. I don't personally bet on Ryzen, but uh, Activate A, he can help you out in that regard. Okay. Uh, but thank you so much for joining, buddy. It's good to see you. Uh, Takaki Soya against Ramazonbek Tamirov. And Tamirov making his walk now to the ring. 14 and 2 for Tamirov. He's 26 years old. And, and he's not walking, he's running. He's running to the ring. 16 and 2, like we said, as a pro. 5 and 0. Oh, it says 14 and 2 on the Ryzen feed, but we'll go with topology here. 16 and 2 as a pro. 5-0 in his last five fights. 26 years of age. Uzbekistan, I mean, they have been... Oh, and he's at the Muradov gym. Uzbekistan fighters have been making a name for themselves recently in the UFC and on various regional promotions. 9 KOTKO, KO, 1 submission, 6 decision. That's what we want to see. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. 1-0 in Ryzen, 6 and... One in Wulin Feng and 3 0 in Murdov. We actually streamed a Murdov event one time, guys. No joke. It was in a like in a high school gym. And I swear the quality was like a bunch of people's cell phones. It got almost 10,000 views on the channel. No joke. People love their Murdov over there in Uzbekistan or wherever the hell Murdov is based out of. Uh, he beat a 5 and 2 guy via KOTK in the first run in his last fight. 10 and 3 before that, 16 and 9, 15 and 8, 9 and 3, 4 and 1, 5. And honestly, for a guy from Uzbekistan, his record's not bad. His record's not bad. Lost to an 8 and 3 and 7 and 2 guy, respectively, when he was, you know, took a step up in competition. Overall, his record could be a lot worse. There's there's been some of these Uzbekistanis or even uh Kyrgyzstanis who come over to like the UFC, for example, who have like the craziest padded record. No, his is good. His is good. And he has entered the ring. We'll get back to the comments here in a sec, guys. Uh, Takaki Soya, 12 and 5 as a pro. Nine KO TKOs as well. Oh, this one should be a scrap. This one should be a scrap. Nine KO TKOs, zero submissions, three decisions. As uh, Takaki Soya is making his walk out now. 3-1 in Rising, 7-3-1 in, in Shuto, Japan. Lost to 6-9 guy before them was on a three-fight win streak. 7-3, 6-4, 5-2. Man, I mean, not the worst, not the best. Uh, beat a 5-7, oof. Beat a 4-6, yeah. Shuto, Japan is just not that great. It, it is a shadow of what Shuto, Brazil is. Dude, l just listening to Lene Hart is an absolute treat. I'm making his walk out now in front of the Japanese crowd is Takaki Soya. Uh, I also have Tamirov winning this one. Takaki Soya, three and two in his last five fights. But Tamirov has just beaten better competition. Though, hey, they each have a ton of knockouts on their resume. I hope this Stays on the feet, which I imagine it will. And uh, I, I sense we have, I sense a finish. I don't think this is going into the third round. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I'm looking forward to Kazumus, uh, Kazumasa versus Takeji. I'm looking into that fight. They both talented grapplers. Uh, yeah, Tamirov, he's uh, in the parlay. He's a safe bet. He will dog walk his opponent. Shane will stay until the free stream ends. Sounds good, buddy. Thoughts on Fizzy of Gamrot? Um, disappointed, wanted to see, obviously wanted to see more. Um, it was pretty even at that stage. I think Fizzy was landing the bigger shots, but Gamrot was still in it. Was starting to employ the wrestling in the second round. And yeah, like... Big question mark, right? So disappointed. It's unfortunate. I hope uh, I hope Fizia's knee is okay, and I hope he comes back uh, sooner than later. 
Dude, his takedown defense was like Brad Tavares-esque. And I said that. I said that in my prediction video. I said that on my notes. His takedown defense was incredibly underappreciated. Absolutely. Absolutely. His balance was incredible. That Sambo background, dude. What's up, Curtis? Great to see you. One of our exclusive members as well. Curtis Clark, thank you so much for being an exclusive member, buddy. They only show like uh, until, what, like the first two, first three max? It's not many, Activate A. It's not many. And you never know when they're going to stop it. Sometimes it's like mid-fight. They're like, psych, go to fight TV. So yeah, with the gi, there's over 32,000 people watching the Rise in YouTube stream. Let's hope even a fraction of those come over to this stream when it ends. <laughs> All right, fighters are being announced in the ring. I'm already one coffee in, so I got all this energy. I got to keep it going. I got to keep it going. Shane, I'm picking uh, Tamir, uh, Tamirov. Let me see. I can. I think I can find a... Ryzen 44. I'll find, I'll find odds for this. Fightodds.com. Bet, Bet Online has a Ryzen odds as well. Uh, so Tamirov here, it says, on my bookie, he's minus 303. Bovada minus 350, Betway minus 300, and Bet Online minus 450. So he has plus 330 on Bet Online. So there you go. We got odds. Shane's got Tamira. <laughs> right. <laughs> Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it yeah, I'd be so pissed. But honestly, activate it. I was thinking about it. Like it would, it would honestly, it would, it would honestly get me to go watch the fight. I'd probably go buy it after that. I love how much bigger the ring is in Ryzen than one championship, eh? These guys look pumped and ready. I got uh Tamirov minus two hundred early before it blew up. At a boy. <laughs> Do they have the, the music playing in the background? Oh, and a nice left there by Soya. Oh, and Soya just knocked on Tamirov. Soya dropped Tamirov. And Tamirov just swinging. Soya with the right. Oh, and Tamirov just dropped Soya. This is everything I wanted this to be. And Tamirov just dropped Soya again. Landing shot, Sawyer's on the ground. Sawyer's hurt. Tamirov's looking to finish this, but Sawyer somehow pops up, not up to his feet. Tamirov getting his back here. This is insane. This is insane. Oh, and Tamirov lands another big shot on Sawyer. Sawyer did drop Tamirov early, but Tamirov's absolutely dominating, dominating him now. So he keeps trying to get back up to his feet, but Tamirov keeps grabbing his body, throwing him to the ground, just landing hard ground and pound. This is amazing. What a fight to start this card. And everyone's telling me, Isha, why are you watching Ryzen? Ryzen sucks. They're a bunch of bums. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Oh my God. I wish I could be like hooting and hollering right now. I probably already woke up my roommate. Soya tried to land a right uppercut. Soya's going, how is Soya even like, how... Oh, and he knocks down the glove of Tamirov. He's like, nah, nah, let's go. Each of them dropped each other, but Tamirov dropped it so dropped Soya like four times already. Three minutes on the clock. This is insane. Left shot to the body by Soya. Oh, a nice spinning kick to the body by Tamirov. Overhand right by Tamirov, and Soya kind of just tripped there. This is crazy, dude. Dude, Soya's game, dude. I, I respect this guy. Respect, man. Okay, finally they cut the music. Ryzen's broadcast has been a little iffy tonight. The English guys, you can't even hear them. Um, their their mics have been muted this whole night. I mean, this is the only th quick scats they are. This is this is the best description of this fight. Oh my god. Oh, and a nice counter right and a left by Tamirov. And he dropped Soya, but Soya right back up to his feet. And a left by Soya. Tamirov landed a good kick there as well. 
Tamirov trips and Soya gets cracked again. Soya with the counter left. And oh, a nice kick by Tamirov. A left by Tamirov. And a right by Tamirov drops Soya again. And a soccer kick attempt. And a left by Tamirov. And a right by Tamirov. Oh, and a left. And, and it is all over. <laughs> what a freaking fight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Honestly, that was worth the $30. And, and like, even if I don't even watch next week's pay-per-view, that alone was worth every freaking penny, ladies and gentlemen. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> yeah, activity. You must have just been shitting your pants. Dropping each other left, right, and center. This is another thing I love about Ryzen, guys. Um, like, right after you win, like, they announce you as the winner, even if your opponent's on the ground, even if your opponent's being stretchered out of the ring, they don't care. The confetti will be flying. They're, they're going to hand you the mic. All right, let's take a look at some of the replays here. Oh, my goodness. This is just incredible. This is just incredible. Holy cow, that was fast paced. Too mass, too bad he missed the field goal on the kick. Could you imagine if he cracked him with that soccer kick as well? They were both throwing caution to the wind and being aggressive. That's what you have to do to gain another contract in Ryzen. And people don't understand that. There's not many boring fights in Ryzen. Dude, even the women do that. Even the women, straight out of deep uh, jewels, just run into the pocket and just throw hands. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Saya was pretty badass waving his finger when he survived. Honestly, Activity, I was so surprised how quickly he got back up to his feet. He popped back up every... Like, he. how many times did he get dropped there, guys? Like, eight... Eight freaking times, and seven of the, seven out of eight times he popped right back up to his feet. Tamurov was dropped, I think, only twice. Oh no, I knew they were having issues. Come on, Ryzen. They okay. They usually don't have broadcast issues, but right now they're having some broadcast issues. Oh come on, guys, get your shit together. It's a good. If this happened during the fight, I would have like flipped this freaking table. I'm telling you. Oh my god, man, my heart is racing. Yeah, <laughs> revive. Okay, here we go. The broadcast is back. He revived like six or seven times. Okay, and they finally have the English uh, broadcasts uh, hooked up. Honestly, guys, like, no disrespect to the English broadcast on Ryzen. Like, like if they ever tune into the live stream, I'm like, I I'm gl I give them props. I'm just as much as a of a nerd as them. Like, I wish I could do that, but honestly, like, I feel like, and I should maybe I shouldn't be talking because I had audio issues on my stream to start. But I feel like I, uh, I feel like I could do that job. I don't want to say I can do it better, but I feel like I could do that job. I feel like I could do that job. I'm up watching these Ryzen streams every every freaking week, anyways. I should honestly apply. English finally, yes. All right, another cold open for the next fight. Honestly, guys, like. I'm not even tooting my own horn or anything. Like, I am up all night anyways. Like, I, I should apply because I feel like I could do a, a damn good a, a damn good stream. And I just really want them to hook me up with some rising gloves that I can hang on the wall. That's mostly why I want to do it. But honestly, I should apply. I should be like, I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> I'm doing it anyways. And I'll just tell my roommate, hey, sorry, it's work. They definitely don't sound as exciting. But we can at least understand. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's like, I sometimes like the Japanese uh, play by play because they're just like, they just go freaking ham, dude. They just go freaking ham. All right. We got the big boys. We got the heavyweights coming out next here, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, by the way, not the biggest card here tonight, too, which is which is, I think, why they started one hour later. Only 10 fights here tonight. There is going to be an intermission, though. There is going to be intermission. 
seven fights in, there'll be an intermission before the last four. And the intermission's about 40 minutes. So uh, usually we take a pretty hefty break around the intermission as well. So just, just a heads up. Dude, how awesome is Lene Hart? Like, oh, jeez, I got to turn that down. Uh, Shane's picking sucker. Oh my goodness. I'm just sorry. I'm I'm still swooning. I just uh brought up some highlights of that last fight too. I I what a, what a fight. What a fight. Honestly, we've been watching fights all day ladies and gentlemen. Best fight. Best fight of the day. Best fight of the day. The English guys loud. Yeah, cuz well they're broadcasting from like their their home as well. That's why I'm saying I can do it. I just got to throw on a dress shirt and uh and just not wear a hat. Cause the, yeah, they're each streaming from their own place. Like they they have the same mic as Hoppy Shane, my co-host on the on my podcast. I do the Soda Pod. Um, okay, let's highlight these next fighters, folks. We got the big boys here. We got the heavyweights, which means we should see another knockdown or at least a knee or a soccer kick. What is up, Ryan? It's great to see you, buddy. How amazing was that last fight, dude? I'm freaking the. I'm freaking out still. I'm freaking out still. Great to see you. I'm picking Shoma Shapisiai. You, I'll give my prediction in one moment. Let's highlight these fighters. We got Shapisiai. Is that how we say it? Shibi, Shibizai? Shoma Shapisiai, nine and three. He's making his walkout right now. He is four and one in his last five fights. 32 years of age. Mike Jones, you missed it, dude. Like it's it's free on YouTube right now. Um, rewind it, rewind it. Best fight of the day, hands down. Mike Jones, best fight of the day, hands down. The pace was unbelievable. One guy got dropped eight times. One guy got dropped twice, and they just kept coming back from the dead. Mike Jones, like my heart is beating out my fucking chest right now. That was one of the best fights that we've seen all day, if not the best fight we've seen all day. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. That's cool. It was so good. The best way to describe it was like up in the chat here. Activate it was just like, oh my god, unbelievable, unbelievable, absolutely lit, dude. What a way to start off this card. Like I brewed a lot of coffee, but my 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 heart's racing right now. Anyways, what's up, Jail? You just missed the best fight of the day. You just missed the best fight of the day. It won't let me rewind, but I bet on uh, Taminov. He won. He won. Uh, Mike Jones. I'll have to share. I'll share some. Uh, I'll share some highlights with you later, or something. I'll figure it out. You got because we got to watch. You guys got to watch this fight eventually. Anyways, let's highlight the fighters. I want to give my uh, pick. Go on, my nine and three is a pro. Four KO TKO, five submissions, four and two in Rise and one and zero oh in Bellator. These guys are heavyweights. Uh, da, 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 da. his last fight was in 2022 at Enoki Bombay against Josh Barnett in a custom rules fight. Get the f it gets Josh Barnett. That's crazy. Uh, before then, beat a five and one guy, nine and zero oh as well in Ryzen. All right, lost a ten and five guy, be a three and zero, oh, eleven and seven. Honestly, as of late, his last few wins here, not bad. Five and one and nine and zero oh for seven and three and eight and three heavyweight. Fought, fought in a few custom rules fights as well. And let's see. Is he the favorite? He is the favorite. Uh, minus 280 a bet online. Minus 275 Betway. Minus 325 Bovada. And minus 285 uh, at my bookie. Fighters are being announced in the cage right now. We're looking at Yarno. Uh, Sukas, 7-1 and one is a pro. He's out of Romania, but training out of London, England, 37 years of age. Uh, 6 KO, TKO, 1 submission, 0-1 and one in Ryzen, 3-0 and oh in Ultimate Challenge MMA. Lost his last fight to a 5-1 and one guy. Uh, beat someone making their debut. Beat a 4-2 and two guy, debut. Uh, I'll go head-to-head -head with you, Shane. I'll pick the favorite. Uh, 
Janos is plus 220 bet online, plus 210 betway, plus 230 bovada, plus 224 my bookie. Uh, let me know your predictions, folks, as this heavyweight fight is about to start. Round one. But I missed the pride rules where round one was 10 minutes. <laughs> and you, I know people gas a lot now, so. And I guess they did back then as well. Round one. Let's get it on. So it is better this way, but. Grave Digger Jones, what is going on, buddy? It's good to see you. Janos is a big boy. Grave Digger Jones, did you see the first fight on YouTube? Did you see the first fight on YouTube? One of the best fights that we've seen all day, dude. Unbelievable fight. I'm still freaking out about it. Great, great to see you, Grave Digger Jones. Why, hello there, young lady. She was cute. Yeah, the girl uh, on the mic. You pronounce it like a Japanese person, except the B is pronounced, or the B is pronounced B. Okay, okay. T shot at Takeji, only 5 0 fighting, more experienced guy, but looks good. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why I was like that. And then there were some audio issues to begin, too. So we're all good. We're all good. That was the first fight. Just one, just one. Grave Digger Jones, did you figure out your PayPal? Can you join us next week for Ryzen? And a 1 2 there by Yarnos. Oh, and he dropped him. Yarnos dropped him. And Shoma going for the single leg. Sukas not landing clean shots of the head here, but he landed a great shot on Shoma. Three minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. They do on the pay per view. That's what I'm here for, Mike Jones. That's what I, I'm here for. Shoma, looking for an ankle, maybe? Janos isn't messing around, dude. Janos isn't messing around. Uh, Grave Digger, the first fight on the card. Oh, heel hook. Heel hook. Shoma's looking for the heel hook here. Two minutes and 43 seconds on the ground. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? And he taps. And he taps. It is all over. It is all over. It is all over. Shoma wins with the heel hook after getting dropped. I love this goddamn promotion, ladies and gentlemen. God damn it. I'm so freaking pumped. Oh, my God. And Shoma, after getting dropped, pulls out the victory. With the submission. Oh no. It looks like the right knee of Janos is messed up as he's laying there in pain. That was scary. Great sub. Knee bar coming. Let's go. 2-0 oh for Mike Jones. He was way too calm. Um oh, did you get it? Did you get it figured out? Sorry, I was streaming all day, so I didn't get to see uh I didn't get to see any messages after like last night or this morning. But if you got it figured out, then uh, I'll hook you up with next week's Ryzen. So that, and you can even jump on stream and, and hang out. Oh, limping right now. Good display of respect between these two guys. But yeah, Janos, Janos isn't, he's not doing too well here. Gravedigger Jones. We got to find a way for you to watch that first fight. I'll figure out a way to, to make sure that you and Mike Jones can watch that first fight. Expect a message in the Discord, like, tomorrow. It, it was unbelievable. There we go. And two finishes in the first two fights. This might be a quick card, ladies and gentlemen. I got Tiachi next. Uh, nothing a couple months of rehab won't fix well, more than a couple months, I think. But uh, I love the way Ryzen, and again, I'm just a savage. This is why I love it. I love the way Ryzen like, uh, goes about um, their post-fight like ceremony and everything. It's right when 
Your opponent gets subbed or finished. It's over. They bring in the camera. They give you the trophy. Your opponent's on the ground being stretched out, whatever. They give you the mic and you get to address the audience. You are not interviewed. You get to address the audience. How, how cool is that? How cool is that? <laughs> Heavyweight with a knee bar too. You've got to be kidding me. I love it. I love it. All right, we'll highlight these next fighters in a second. I'm sure after it's over, we can watch it. Regardless, I got you guys' back. I remember when people used to use Discord to watch uh, pay-per-views for free. Good times. The good old days. Yeah, later on this card, Nick. Like in like three hours. Oh, got you, Grave Digger Jones. Well, hey, if you figure it out this week, like I said, the offer still stands, buddy. As I and you supported this channel so much, and um, like you said, if if it's not in your budget to to get any of the rising cards this month, then I'll for sure hook you up with the landmark card uh, next week, dude. Mike Jones got Duffy. Screw it. I'm trying to like not swear less, but put uh put the the messages with the curse words up on screen because youtube has not been liking our videos lately let's just say that and i'm like i haven't really been doing anything differently other than maybe that maybe somewhere in their policy they don't like the actual curse words on screen so so that's why every now and then i'll i'll uh i'll do what i just did there <laughs> i'm not ignoring you I mean, YouTube probably already pee pee whacked us any or me anyways for losing my shit and just saying that right there. So, just in case uh, you guys are asking, like, or wondering, he shouted out his Instagram. That is amazing. What a beauty. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Um, I don't use Instagram, but if I did, I would straight up give him a follow right there. Big guys are always a flip. Yeah, no problem, buddy. No problem. Like I said, Grave Digger Jones, you go above and beyond to support this channel, man. Um, you are a valued member of this channel, a valued community uh, member as well, and a friend. I can call you my friend too. So happy to help. Happy to help. Because you are you are the second, maybe even a bigger Ryzen fan than me. Uh, I'm going to bed. Catch the replay later. Sounds good, Nick. I saw Gamrot celebrating and he was so happy after his win. He wants Charles. Yeah, I listened to the post fight. I would, love to, I would love to see Charles try to defend his belt against Gamera. If Charles wins, I don't think Gamera will, will get the title shot. Um, But yeah, it's just unfortunate what happened there. You never want to see a fight end like that. Yeah, well, it, if uh, you can get the bundle... Um, or even just the landmark card at that point. But if you want the bundle, I, we, we can hook you up with the bundle too. Um, that way you can watch the this whole card. There you go. Then you can catch up. Yeah, there you go. Like I said, happy to help, buddy. Happy to help. But uh, just just keep me uh just keep me posted. And if I don't reply and I, Discord, hit me up on Twitter. Um, once you figure it out, we got we got a whole week. We got a whole week. Uh, to uh, to figure it out, but like I said, Grave Digger Jones, thank you so much for your support, buddy, for over a year now and uh, being a member pretty much that entire time as well. All right, fighters are making their walkout. We're gonna highlight these next fighters here. Gamrod is a threat uh, to everyone. I bet on I had a bet on Okada, but I cashed out. Changed my mind. Taichi has some very good competition against Dagestani promotion. Heck yes, I just hit the over in the USC game. Let's go, Mike Jones. Gamera got the win like I predicted, no matter how it happened. On the record, it goes down as a win for Gamera. No, sure, Jail, but what I'm saying is, uh, look, you're trying to get combative here, and, you know, this is your stick. This is your... I get it. Um, I'm not, like... It, it just sucks as a fight fan. You can't tell me. If, if you are happy with that, you are not a real fight fan. Because we got robbed of a really four more really good rounds, regardless of who went, who won, or who lost. Right? It was going to be an awesome fight, man, and it just sucks. And then Fiziev injured with a nasty knee injury. It's going to be a while for him to come back. It just no fight fan, no true fight fan wanted it to end that way. 
Gamrot got the win. Good for him. But unfortunately for Gamrot, that win's not going to propel him any higher. His stock is not going to go up with that win. You know what I mean? And that's unfortunate too for him. That's why I'm saying like it's, 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 a, he got a win. But his stock didn't go up. That's not going to propel him into the next level. That's not going to raise his ranking too much, you know? It's not going to combat it. I'm just stating facts. No, I know, but I know what you're trying to do. That's what I'm saying. Uh, it's not new, JL. Yeah, check it. Isha said right after Gamera went, oh no, JL's going to go off about this. I did, I did. Congrats, JL. It's always nice to win money. It sucks for fans who don't bet on it. Yes. Yes, indeed. I'm just saying, congrats for the good pick. Um, it just sucks we were robbed of more, more of that fight. It, was, uh, it's, it, it just sucked to see it end that way. Now, if Fiziev got like knocked out clean, then pff, let's gloat, baby. Gloat. You know what I'm saying? Is that Tai Chi in the red? Sorry, I've been reading the chat. So uh, the next fighter is about to make their walkout. We got to highlight these ones. Is that the circle of life? Another. Oh my God. He's walking out to the circle of life by freaking the, the Lion King. That's hilarious. I'm just listening in right now. Sorry, guys. One sec. It must be like a remix or something. <laughs> I thought I thought that was the song, but no, it's just Lenny Hart. Yoshi Pinoshi, Bryce just started a podcast. He has some interesting thoughts. Uh, Bryce has a rap album. Thug Nasty, baby. No, that's Okada. Yes, we got a draw today. That's always great. At plus 8,000. Love that. Lenny Hart, she's a treasure. Dude, she, she's she's awesome. She's awesome. Okay, Tai Chi Nakajima is making his walk right now. <laughs> Bryce is freaking weird in the head, but he's an amazing grappler. All right, I'll get back to the comments here in a sec. By the way, big shout out to the exclusive members. The chat is just full of exclusive members. I can't. <laughs> shout to Mike Jones. Shout to Activate A. Shout to JL. Shout to Gravedigger Jones. Shout to Yoshi Pinoshi. What's going on? Shout to JD. You guys are all awesome. And look at this. I'm just scrolling up in the chat. It's exclusive member city, baby. I thought Grace Jones was on the mic. It's crazy. She's been with the promotion since Pride, since Dream, and she's still here. All right. Let's highlight these fighters here. Taichi Nakajima, 16 and 2 as a pro. Uh, 3 and 2 in his last five fights. Win one, lose one, win one, lose one, win one. You know what I'm saying? He's he's kind of inconsistent. 34 years of age. Um, fighting at a pancreas predominantly, if I'm not mistaken. Four KO TKO, three submissions, nine decisions. Okay, he's fought in ACB, two and three in ACB. ACB and AC are good regional shows in 0 and 1 and Ryzen. Yeah, and Pancras, he beat a 6 and 0 guy. 7 and 1. 9 and 2. He's got some good wins as of late. Lost to 15 and 4 and 26 and 5. But the guys that he's beaten as of late are actually pretty good. Honestly, it's. it's he's. Look, he ain't great. But it's not the worst resume. It's not like he's been just losing to cans and lo both losing and crushing cans. He actually has some decent wins on his resume and some good wins as of late. Royo Okada, 17 and 6. Uh, two and two in his last four fights. He's on a two fight losing streak, also 34 years of age. They're fighting at Bantamweight, by the way, 134. And both the fighters are being announced in the center of the cage right now. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen too, guys. And I'll give my official pick in one second. 
Six KO, TKO, two submissions, nine decisions for Okada. Zero and one in Ryzen, 14, four and three draws in Shudo Japan. But Shudo Japan, it's a shadow of that of Shudo Brazil, guys, okay? It's not that great. Lost to 12 and three and 27 and nine guy in his last fights. Beat a 28 and 16, seven and oh, not bad. And the guy making their debut, eh. Eh. Uh, Okada is the oh, Okada's the underdog at plus 110 on all sports books. Minus 140 on Bet Online, minus 138 on Betway, minus 155 on Bovada for Tai Chi round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. I'm going for Tai Chi as well. Do, 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 do. Bryce should go in JRE. I need it. I want it, please. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thanks to the man, Grant. Yes, Mr. Grant Gregory gave out a ton of uh, memberships uh, on Friday. What an absolute beauty. Shane will go head to head with my pick. Let's go, baby. This one's close in the betting odds. I got to go. I'm glad. Uh, I can go to bed knowing the future champ is another win. It's always nice when your favorite wins. Have a great night, JL. They're both ex-champs in different promotions. Pancreas versus Shudo. Oh, sweet. Pancreas versus Shudo, baby. Let's do it. Dude, you know what's crazy? Pancreas has over 300 shows. Oh, and a nice right hand there by Tai Chi. Right hand there by Tai Chi. Three minutes and 46 seconds on the clock. Inside low kick there by Okada. Hey, good fight so far on this card. And this one is also looking like it's going to pan out to be a good one as well. And looking for the takedown, there was Okada, but reversed there by Tachi Nakamija. Back up to their feet. Uh, Shane Nakamija. In the red corner, blue shorts. Well, basically red hair. Nakamiji with the red hair. Okada with the red shorts. I'm sorry, JD. I didn't mean to, brother. Looking to clinch up against the ropes here. Is that of Okada? And Okada with the takedown. Looking to try to get into side control here. Is Okada doing a good job of rolling on his right side was Nakamaji to defend, but an even better job by Okada for well passing on the next on on the other side, on the left side to get into side control. Two minutes and thirty-three seconds on the clock. I think he's from New Zealand. I mean, look, he he, he might be Aussie, but yeah, um he's he's from one or the other. I, I, I can't quite put my finger on it. Two minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. That's what I'm saying, bro. I could do it. I could do it. They don't even have to pay me. Just give me one of those gloves. Or a pair of those gloves. One minute and 58 seconds. Some nice ground shots there by Okada. Still in side control. Elbows on the ground. So again, I can live with no standing elbows in Ryzen because they allow elbows on the ground. One minute, 38 seconds. Smash that like button if you guys haven't already, by the way. You guys are all members and regulars, though, so I'm sure you guys all have. Uh, maybe you should have stuck with your dog bed. Hopefully cashing out pays. But that wrestling is a problem for our boy. And get, getting back up to his feet, popping back up to his feet is Taishi Nakamija. Taishi Nakamija with the body lock right now. Knees to the body by Takamija as he pushes Okada to the corner. It's funny because a lot of like the cage work that we see in the UFC, similar in Ryzen, but in the corner. Uh, because obviously there's no cage, they're just ropes. 
So they take their opponent to the corner. And honestly, I like the Ryzen ring. It's bigger than one championship. Although one championship ropes a little bit bigger. Oh, I'm looking to pull guard. No flying armbar attempt there by Okada. Okada on his back. Nakamija kicking his legs. Nakamija, invite him back up. Invite him back up. You don't want any of this guy's jujitsu. Yeah, so no standing elbows in Ryzen. But you're allowed uh, elbows once once you hit the mat. They just try to avoid fights being ended by cuts as much as possible. I could get tempted there by Osaka. Superman, a punch. Tempted there by Osaka. And a swing and a miss there by Nakamija. Good first round. I wonder how Muay Thai guys would do in Ryzen. Like one championship guys. I wonder as well, because it's a lot more like freestyle. Um, there's one kickboxing fight on this card, by the way, guys. Usually there's at least uh, one or two, kind of like on one championship's Friday fights, how they have one or two MMA fights. Uh, Ryzen always puts uh, at, at least one or two kickboxing fights on the card, and I, and I like Ryzen's kickboxing. I pick Nakamija, the guy with the red hair, and I pick Okada. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Oh, damn it, Shane. I wish you didn't need sleep. Wish you'd stay up and watch this one. Good question. Two of the eight are out, aren't they? Good question. Two of the eight are out, aren't they? Elbows? Oh, uh, yeah, there's one... I got on Anpo my parlay. He should smash his opponent. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you guys think? I guess uh, these aren't judged at round per round. So there you go. There you go. Let's get it all. Well, Gina, I like the judging better as well. No 10 point must. Two of the eight aren't they elbows. Muay Thai reference. It went right over my head, JD. <laughs> Maybe I need some more coffee. The adrenaline's dying down from that first fight. <laughs> Sorry about that. Two of their eight weapons are taken right. The elbows. That went right over my head, and that was embarrassing, JD. Emotional damage. Oh, and a nice right hand by Nakamija. Nakamija landed a good... Couple good shots there. Two minutes and or three minutes and fifty-two seconds on the clock. Nice left by Nakamija. Nakamija striking is crisp and clean every time he steps in there. He seems to tag Okada. Right hand attempt there by Nakamija. Going in for the takedown is Okada. Read that perfectly was Nakamija. Pushes him off. Left hook. Another step back left hook by Taichi Nakamija. Good start to the second round by Nakamija here. And so Okada moving more, trying to set up some feints here. Straight left jab by Nakamija. Nakamija's hands are down. He's so confident with his striking here. He's going full Anderson Silva. Head bob in there. Three minutes on the clock. Again, big shout out to the live chat here. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for. Joining us very late here, or early, I should say, for Ryzen 44. Can you believe it? There's already 44 Ryzen events. How crazy, like when they hit 100, knock on wood, they hit 100. Oh my goodness, because Pride was never able to do it. Dream never hit that. If Ryzen hits 100, which I think they will, it's going to be, I almost want to go. I almost want to spend like all my savings and finally sell my... 150 first 150 first edition Pokemon card set and use all that money and go to Ryzen 100. Screw paying off student loans. Ryzen 100 is more important. <laughs> I might be dead before that even happens at this rate. Eh, actually, never mind. Anyways, two minutes on the clock. I'm babbling away here. High Geek Temp here by Okada. Again, only the right hand of Naka. Mija is up there, so confident in his striking. Going for the takedown here is Okada. 
My girlfriend woke me up, so now it's a rise in time. You have risen. He has risen. He is rising. You know, I'm tired. My jokes suck. And a Muay Thai reference from JD went right over my head, but it's good to see you again, Gino. Great fights on the card. JD, or uh, Gino, the first fight on the card, best fight of the day, and it's not even close. It's not even close. One minute and 30 seconds on the, on the clock here. And Nakamija pushing Okada up against the corner. One minute and 13 seconds on the clock. And trying to go for the trip takedown there was Nakamija, but instead he just pushes Okada off and they're separated. Last minute in the second round. Oh, and a nice right there by Nakamija. And he's landed, he's cracked Okada a few times on the feet here. Again, Nakamija has fought in uh, ACB and some other de and, and a, a bunch of other regional shows. Again, champion versus champion. Sorry about that, folks. Topology tripping out these days. Uh, the Pancras champion versus the Shudo Japan champion here. 15 seconds left in the second round. Clinching up against the corner. Pushing Okada into the corner. Some knees to the leg there by Tachi Nakamija. And that is it. That is it for the second round. It's on YouTube right now, Gino, for another... Is it still on YouTube, by the way, guys? Uh, Daniel Sun, what's up, AJ? Yeah, Gino, I'm pretty sure it's still on YouTube for a little bit. Some of the prelims are going to be free on YouTube. I was just looking at some of the replays here, guys. Oh, man. Some slick striking by Nakamiji. Um, he threw a reverse elbow. Hmm. I wonder if he got a warning. Kind of glad I cashed out of my Okada bet earlier. It's too close, but I think Taichi got the better shots. Gino, if I didn't have antivirus, my computer would be shot. All right. Third and final round. I'll update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I always just I always just buy the Ryzen because I always just want to keep them. And um and you can download them from Fight TV after, so it's it's just cool to have them all. Stuffing of the takedown again was Tai Chi. Nakamiji, Nakamiji with the left, or counter left, and then the right by Nakamiji. Nakamiji just schooling Okada on the feet. Four minutes and 26 seconds left there by Nakamiji. And a straight left by Nakamiji. Still on their feet here. Center of the ring. Four minutes on the clock. Straight left jab there. I mean, Nakamija just so slick on his feet here compared to Okada, dude. He's going full Matrix on him. Going full Anderson Silva. He doesn't even need to keep his hands up. And his hands have been lowering, or been gradually getting lower and lower and lower this whole fight. And look, he's just dancing around him. Body kick attempt there. Or no, he landed that. And that left jab landed, the right didn't. By Nakamija. Looking for that timing to set up the takedown is Okada. Okada's swinging and missing, man. He's almost wait. Oh, and out of the cage. They fall out of the cage. Through the ropes. Through the ropes, both of them.
Hands are way low. Yeah, he's he's confident, man. And they restart on their feet, center of the ring. Three minutes on the clock. Straight left jab. Hey, we might not see a finish in this fight, but it's been a good fight. That's a good way to get a breather. Oh, beautiful counter left by Nakamija. Beautiful counter left by Nakamija. Dodges. Oh, and a right hand by Okada. Okada swinging. Counter left there, Nakamija. Nakamija might have to lift his hands back up here. Going in for the takedown again. Here's Okada. The MMA holes. What's going on, the MMA holes? Yeah. Oh, Nakamija. Taking the back of Okada. Some nice shots here. Dude, this kid is sick. Oh, he's hurting him. He's hurting him. He's covering up, but Nakamija's getting shots through. <laughs> They're moving the fight clock. They're like, the boys fell out of the ring once. Pushing Okada into the corner of the ring, and Okada, his nose is bleeding. What's up, MMA Hills? Thank you so much for joining, buddy. Appreciate you. Dude, I don't give a shit about the UFC. I don't give a shit about Bellator. I care about Ryzen more than either of them, and I am freaking pumped right now. Did you see the first fight on this card? Best fight of the day, hands down, not even close, man. I love this promotion so much. This fight may not, we may not see a finish here, but it is awesome. And now going for a guillotine. Okada's going for a guillotine. I'm just, I'm just jacked up MMA holes. It might be the coffee that I just downed. Oh, this guillotine's tight. Oh, no. Gets that left hand out of it. Gets that left hand out of it. He was cranking back there for a second. But uh, anyways, I'm jacked up. Ryzen 44. We're going to be up all night, ladies and gentlemen. And I appreciate the MMA holes for showing support on this channel. And uh, drop the like on your guys' stream earlier. Hope you had a good show, my man. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, arm triangle, arm triangle. Oh, reversed, but not reversed by Nakajima, and it's an arm triangle. I cannot believe. Oh, and he doesn't get it. I cannot believe Tachi Nakajima got the reversal there and went for the arm triangle. Nice left elbow on the ground here. Working his way into side control is Nakajima. 37 seconds. And what a way to end the fight by Nakajima. And the stomp, the stomp entry attempt. He didn't get it, but he jumped in there. He was about to stomp him in the motherfucking face. Or oh, was Von Flew to arm triangle? Two weeks, no UFC. It's okay, we got Ryzen next weekend and one championship next weekend. 10 seconds to go. Nakajima on his feet. And another stomp. He went in for another stomp. He went in for another stomp. What a way to end the fight. And a soccer kick. And a soccer kick. What a finish. He's just laying there. He's just laying there. Okada is laying there. Oh my goodness. And they're tapping his face to see if he's breathing. And in textbook rise in fashion, the celebrations have begun. They're going to hand him the mic. They're going to they're gonna announce him as the winner. Dude, I l there are people ripping us this week. Oh, how can you like Ryzen? Ryzen is trash. Look at their records. Look at their roster. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Oh, my goodness, dude. Look at these replays. Oh my god. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh, he won, Shane. He he won. Oh my goodness. Indeed, Grave Digger Jones, indeed. Yeah, I think it's a little bit behind. What a win. What a fight. Just when I said, I mean, I guess technically it wasn't a finish, but it may as well have been. It may as well have been. <laughs> yeah, there's no judge giving it to Okada. God, what a fight, man. What a fight. Dude, every fight on this card thus far has been absolutely amazing. There we go. <laughs> Taichi 
Nakajima with an unbelievable victory. Cash that money, Mike Jones, and activate A. People are such casuals for dissing one and rising. This one casual told me Habib ain't the lightweight gold. <laughs> Who could that be? Who could that be? <laughs> the same casual who's making an argument for BJ Penn. Okay. I don't have high hopes again. And I see in the chat, you guys are like, keep it like that on the phone. I don't have, I don't have that much data, guys. I don't have that much data. Or else I would. Because I'm obviously not using internet, right? And it looks like we got a pretty nasty cut here on one of the guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Did Fukuda or Yamamoto win? Neither of them. Uh, well, they're, they're fighting right now, buddy. They're fighting right now. What's up, Joe? Joe Hogan. Yeah, it has not been. Uh, it has not been an easy stream here. We've had some pretty, pretty horrendous network issues. All right, but we're going into round three. Pickled sandwich. We're in round three. And Yamamoto, nasty cut above his left eye. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get it if uh, the internet craps out another uh, another time, my man. Thanks, guys. But again, this, is, this doesn't happen often. I don't know what's going on. But it's out of my control. So we're going to keep riding. We're going to keep riding if we can. Final round, four minutes and 21 seconds on the clock. Again, appreciate the support, guys. Okay. Final round, indeed. By the way, what's up, Damien? Good to see you, buddy. What, hap what happened with Yokoyama? Uh... Yokoyama has not fought yet. Oh, oh, to, to Keiji Yokoyama? No, he's not, he hasn't fought yet, but he hasn't fought yet. Oh, and they're throwing in the corner. Both of them landing big shots. They're in the corner of the ring there. Three minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Uh, Lush, uh, on Fight TV, I just bought the pay-per-view, buddy. I buy every Ryzen pay-per-view. Uh, Fight.TV, guys. And it looks like they're going to look at the cut again above the right eye of Ursin Yamamoto. Uh, I was that close to ponying up the 1999 after seeing the first few fights. Glad you're back. <laughs> Knock on wood, we're back for now. Again, I want my deepest apologies, guys. You know, I try to be somewhat professional on this channel. Um, and uh, th there's no excuse for that. It was out of my hand, but it was out of my hands, but uh, it's going to take a lot more than that. Like it's going to, it's going to have to take a call from Xfinity and be like, dude, stop streaming. You're not getting internet back for me to stop streaming. So a little embarrassing. Yes, but we are back on track. The fight is paused right now. Third round, three minutes and 21 seconds on the clock and a really nasty cut on Yamamoto. They're looking at it to see if he can continue. We're still waiting. It looks like we're good to go. Let's go. Oh, no, it's over? Oh, I thought they were going. Yama, I thought Yamamoto was screaming like war cry scream, but no, it is all over. The cut was too much, and a win goes to Ryua Fuk uh, Fukuda. So I obviously got to, I missed most of that fight as I was scrambling to get us back online, but we are back online. Stop the fight, Lush. I use, uh, I, uh, I had that sound bite on my soundboard, but I, uh, I wiped my soundboard memory card by mistake, so I have to get all those sounds back on. That cut reared its head. If they would have sucked, I would have just slept. But they were good fights. Absolutely, JD. UFC versus MMA TV. Who is a win? The winner is Fukuda. Ryua Fukuda. 
And yeah, they did stop the fight. They did stop the fight. Again, big shout out to everybody joining us here. Sorry for the connection issues that we've been having tonight. It's out of my control, folks. We're going to keep riding. We're going to keep riding until Xfinity calls me and says, bro, turn off your stream. You ain't getting any more internets tonight. Ursin Yamamoto, he lost the fight. It is over. Thank you so much for joining, buddy. It's good to see you. All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Sorry about that again. Last time, I'll apologize. Sorry about some of the connection issues we've had tonight, but we're going to keep riding. We're going to keep riding. Um, next fight on the card here. Te uh, Tekeji Yokoyama against Kazumasa Majima. We'll highlight both of the fighters in a moment. I'm just going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Addressing the audience right now. Uh, is the winner of the last fight uh, Ryuya Fukuda, who is 20 and 7. Now he's 21 and 7. Oh, Lush. That fight was amazing. And honestly, if I wasn't still just like happy and on a high of that fight, I would have smashed some shit scrambling around trying to get the... Uh, Trying to get us back online. They really want to keep the fight going. Yamamoto doesn't give a shit and wants to go like Takamura in Hajime no Ippo. Anybody here old enough to remember the Marvin Eastman cut? I remember that, dude. That was nasty. I think the doctor staved my parlay, says Mike Jones. That fight literally made me puke. Oh my goodness. Whoops. All right, we're going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. We'll highlight the next fight. It looks like we're good to go. Hope I didn't jinx it. Glad I stayed online. Honestly, guys, after that last time, it didn't work. I was about to I was about to sign off, but we're good to go. We're good to go. Let's highlight the next fighters here. All right, next on the card, we have another Pancrase guy. Uh, Kazumas Majima, 15-4-0 in his pro MMA career. He is 3-2 and two in his last five fights. He did win his last fight. Looking at his opponent, Takeji Yokoyama, 5-0 and oh as a pro. 27 years old, fighting out of Tokyo. Now let's take a look at his resume. Uh, 1-0 in rising, 4-0 and oh in fighting Nexus. Uh, beat an eight and two guys, sixteen and seven, three and zero, oh, one and zero, oh, and three and four. Honestly, for for being five and zero, oh, that that's not bad. That's not bad. Like I say, when when you have four or five professional fights, that's when I expect you to take that step up in competition. Before that, I'm not going to judge you on who your opponents are. And and he took a huge step up going up from uh, from a three and zero oh guy to a sixteen and seven guy and an eight and two guy, respectively. And, uh, and he beat Takuya Yamamoto via armbar in the first round in his debut. Excited to see this one. Excited to see this one. And he is a jujitsu guy, is he not? Yeah, let me know your predictions in the live chat, guys. Let me know your predictions in the live chat for this next fight. Sorry I'm talking a little quiet, too. Uh, everyone in my house is sleeping right now, except for me. Uh, I am going to go with... How many times has he been submitted? Oh, he has 13 submission wins. Well, this one might be like a, a scrambly grappling affair. Hmm. I'm going to go. Oh, man. I'm going to go Yoko, uh, Yokoyama. I'm going Yokoyama. I just, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. I took a shot at Takeichi plus 110. I like him in this fight, but I'm not 100% confident yet. So. Uh, Bet Online has him at plus 105. Betway has him at minus 120. Bovada has him at minus 115. And my bookie also has him at minus 115. Uh, Bet US has it minus 120 for both the guys. So plus 105 on Bet Online right now for uh, Yokoyama. 
And Majima, minus 135 on Bet Online, minus 110 on Betway, minus 115 on Bovada, minus 106, my bookie. Uh, it's a good fight, but uh, I young at the time and was squeamish at the time. Oh, dude, yeah, me too. Uh, this, the ground guys I was talking about earlier that I was looking forward to. Let's go. I'm glad we're back for it. I was scared we wouldn't be. Oh my goodness, Mr. Grant Gregory. Oh my goodness. Hope he found a good plastic surgeon. Mr. Grant Gregory, you missed the excitement. The first fight on this card, Mr. Grant Gregory, best fight of the entire day. It was unbelievable. No joke. It was amazing, sir. It was amazing. Um, the second and third fight, two finishes as well. The fourth fight, back and forth war. The fifth fight, well, I missed a little bit of it because we had a freaking internet scare here. My whole block's internet freaking went out. But we're back, baby. <laughs> the rising card has been amazing, and it's it's even better now that you're here, buddy. Push it to the limit. Edgar's very hard to find these uh, this event, buddy, so that's why you got Pony up. And buy the pay-per-view for this one. Uh, you are... Think who is win. One or two. Oh, I got I got Yokoyama winning. I got Yokoyama winning. Or Yokoyama, my apologies. <laughs> Joe Hogan? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm guessing he's me. Uh, you know, guy number one is this guy, night guy number two. You didn't miss it? Okay, well. I was sweating, dude. I'm still sweating. I literally sweat through my... Uh, Kazumasa, more likely to use wrestling to get a sub, but Takeji is a scramble guy. He can get a sub from anywhere. I also bet on Yokoyama. Please keep us posted if you're watching. I'm watching, buddy. I'm watching. I buy every single rise in pay-per-view. I buy every single rise in pay-per-view. All right, fighters are making their walk to the ring now. The third fight was my fight I was looking forward to. My guy lost but made a new fan from me. It's been a great card thus far, guys. It's been a great card thus far. Other than the uh, the audio issues in the beginning, other than the internet issues, it's been a great card. Knock on wood, we don't face any more of those. UFC versus MMA TV. I hope Kazuma wins. Let me know your predictions in the live chat, folks. Let me know your predictions for this one in the live chat. Sorry I'm talking a little quiet, but uh, my roommates are sleeping upstairs. <laughs> and my deepest apologies for... Uh, for when I have to refill my coffee soon, you guys have to play that, hear that song again. No, I'll, I'll play a different song in the background. The winner made me a fan is what I meant to say. All my bias aside. I was picking up what you're putting down. And people were dogging us. People were dogging us. People were dogging me this week saying Ryzen was you know watching Ryzen. Who are you to watch Ryzen? That's not a great league. The fighters are bums. Look at their records. Blah, 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 blah. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? All with Kazuma. I was listening in while I get ready for bed. I'm going to bed. Good night. Thank you, Shane. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, have a great rest of the weekend, buddy. I'm watching on Fight TV, MA. What were the odds on this one? Uh, so, do, do, do. Yokoyama right now on Bet Online is plus 105, on Betway minus 120, Bovada minus 115, and my bookie minus 140. Majima minus 135 Bet Online, minus 110 Betway, minus 115 on Bovada, and minus 106 on my bookie. Basically a pick em. Anyways, I have to get back to work. Keep killing it. It looks Suzuki on the mic here. Ryzen kills it. Yes, it does, buddy. Fook the roommates. It's red panty night. <laughs> uh, 
I laid off this one. Uh, Takeshi's my pick. Locking it in. All right, fighters are being announced in the ring now. Again, Takeshi Yokoyama, 27 years of age, only five professional mixed martial arts fights like we ran down there. Yes, thanks, Mr. Grant Gregory, for hooking up so many people in the live chat here with memberships. I like the guy that came out first, Majima. I got Yokoyama. See you later, everyone. Love seeing the green. Yes, indeed, brother. Yes, indeed. They missed the fist pump there at first. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round one. Let's get it on. I'll keep you guys updated in the live chat here. We do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Smash that like button if you haven't already, and let's get right into it. I'll be honest, first time I watched Ryzen, I was definitely entertained, felt like I was watching Pride. And Joe Hogan Pride will always be my favorite fight promotion of all time, so that's why I'm such a big Ryzen fan, because it it's nostalgic, but it's also more modern. You can't judge the book by its cover in Ryzen. You just have to let yourself be entertained. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it all! Oh, already pulling guard is that of a Yokoyama. No shame. He's going full Kron Gracie. Getting kicked in the legs right now by Majima. Is Majima going to pounce into his guard? When is the ref going to stand him up? Four minutes and 20 seconds. 30 seconds on his back so far. Voluntarily. Now looking to enter the guard was Majima. Great Bo Diddley song. Can't judge a book by its cover. Entering the full guard of Yokoyama now. Is Majima. Yokoyama closes the guard. Pulling the neck down. Now you can see off this guy's back. Yokoyama is sick. High right leg right now. Kazuma for UFC versus MATV. <laughs> Jumping into it and lands on its back. Crazy horse. He is not. <laughs> exactly that. Three minutes and 37 seconds on the clock here. Still in the guard of Yokoyama is Majima. Uh, this is a Luke versus uh, Ian Gary, UFC 296 thoughts. Yeah, it was just announced, eh? Um, they, they used to be training partners and friends, no? So I hope it's not a sparring match. I hope they, I hope they both go for it. And I think they will. I think they will. I did not see it coming, I'll tell you that much. Stomp his head in. Zilam, who's leading now? It's still very, very close. It's still very, very close. Three minutes on the clock. In the top position right now is Yoku, or is Majima, but Yokoyama gave up that top position right off the bat, and he's very content to work off his back. Majima has to land some punches here if he wants to get ahead in this fight. We saw some stomps and... um like some jumping stomps in an earlier fight on this card. Trying to work his legs up to maybe set up a triangle or arm bar. You can see he's constantly grabbing that right leg now, dragging it up. Guard getting higher and higher right now for Yokoyama. Two minutes and 13 seconds on the clock. Majima needs to lay it needs to lay down ground and pound. I know easier said than done when you got a jujitsu guy who's you know right now threatening you. But if he can land some good punches, I mean he'll be up. And there we get there we go. Posture up. There's a nice right hand by Majima. Majima posturing up again in the guard on his knees. Yokoyama not making this easy for him, not making 
that's target hittable. Some shots on the bottom there by Yokoyama. Elbow from the bottom by Yokoyama. Oh, and a right elbow there by Yokoyama. Ian Gary confirmed ducking Shavkot. Wouldn't fight him because they train at Killcliffe, but he fight Luke A, who trains there and is best friends with Gilbert, who just uh, cornered Ian. Because everyone in my house is sleeping, Debo, and it's 2 a.m. 57 seconds left, and the ref stands him up. Good call, ref. Good call. Let's see if Yokoyama drops. Drops and pulls the guard again. Oh, and a nice outside low kick by Yokoyama. Good to see you, Debo. And everyone in the live chat here. Appreciate you guys. A little switch kick there by Yokoyama. Spinning heel kick. Swing and a miss there. A right hand landed on Majima. And <laughs> Yokoyama pulls guard. <laughs> pulls guard while standing. And a slam to the ground there by Majima to end the round. And that is it for the first round, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your thoughts on the first round. Who do you think won that one? And the guys, going into this one, two, two grapplers. This one is not going to be a scrap like some of the fights that we saw earlier on this card. These are two high-level grapplers going at it. And we saw just that thus far. I know the fights aren't judged round by round. Oh, he didn't pull guard. He got cracked with the right. Guys, I didn't see that it happened so fast when he jumped there. So I just saw the replay. It looks like Yokoyama got cracked with the right. And that's what ultimately made him land on his back. I do, but not not as much as you guys. Not as much as you guys. And it's hard because I'm in Minnesota. Majima being very careful not to get caught with a sub. He's very tight to him, indeed. It's late night low speak mode for roommate courtesy. Absolutely. You guys will know when I get my own place. A, because the scenery will change, and B, because I'll just be like, Hooting and hollering. Uh, very close UFC versus MMA TV. Very close. I would say Yokoyama because he he landed uh he landed some punches. Going in for the knee there was Yokoyama round two. Or sorry, I'll say Majima. Majima won the first round. Let's get but again, there are no like the. That's not how. Uh, that's not how it's scored. Uh, Ryzen is scored as a whole, but so far I'll say Majima is winning the fight. Majima in the top position again. Surprise, surprise. Four minutes on the clock here. Three minutes and 49 seconds on the clock here. Tight grip, tight grip there indeed by Yokoyama. Knees on the ground by Majima. Majima posturing up, landing some shots, but like Activate A said in the live chat, being very cautious of the dangerous submissions that Yokoyama has in his arsenal. USC was a disaster this evening as far as betting parlays. Yeah, I mean, I, I make picks every week. Lucian, I, I do a live stream uh, usually every Thursday for picks, and yeah, I didn't do good this week at all. The Malcoon one really messed, really annoyed me, and messed me up. Freaking Vidal winning, like come on. So yeah, wasn't a good, wasn't a good uh, predictions week for me either, buddy. Three minutes on the clock here. Yokoyama still on his back.
Yokiyama bleeding a little bit here. Oh, an up kick attempt there by Yokoyama. Yokoyama. Yes, he's throwing more strikes. Yeah, Yokoyama, he's taking some elbows now in the guard. Oh, some nice right elbows there by Majima. Majima, oh yeah, and Majima defending subs. He's a jiu-jitsu guy. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. I don't think he's going to get finished. But he's definitely going to, if the fight continues like this, he's definitely going to lose this one. One minute, 42 seconds on the clock. <laughs> one minute, 35 seconds. Funk Master, good to see you, buddy. Posturing up and landing some solid ground and pound here by Majima. Great job by Majima. And the ref separates them and stands them up. One minute, 19 seconds left. One minute on the clock. Outside low kick attempt there by Yokoyama. High kick attempt there by Yokoyama. Clinches again and pulls guard. Drags Majima back to the ground. Uh, don't don't confuse don't confuse him, Jugador. I'm mad betting on this clown Yoko Yokoyama. Did you not do your research? He's a jujitsu guy. Thirty five seconds on the clock. This he wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna strike. Oh no, Debo. There's a ton more. There's a ton more, dude. Uh, we have. One, two, three, four, five, six more fights on the card. 15 seconds in the second round. Majima on his feet. Kicking the legs of Yokoyama. 10 seconds left. Stomp him. Jump in and stomp him. And that is it for the second round. Bet Pro Wrestling. What's up, Bet Pro Wrestling? Saying uh, T. Damn, this is looking like an L, says Activate A. Both of them submission guys. I was ignorant thinking he'd keep his zero. Hey, I picked him to win too. I picked him to win too. But uh, props to Majima. Definitely more well-rounded in, in MMA and utilizing, like uh, Activate A said, his wrestling. Oh, you can see there, uh, if you had more time, Majima was going to go for the stomp. Whoops. Uh, all right, third and final round coming up here, folks. Third and final round coming up here. Appreciate every single one of you who've been joining. Uh, Todd Duffy at plus 210, and he going to win. As long as his opponent doesn't touch him, because his chin is, is the thinnest glass that I've ever seen. As long as his opponent doesn't touch him, He'll probably win. Great to see you, Bet Pro Wrestling. All right, third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Again, sorry for whispering. Everyone in my house is asleep right now. So I got to keep it quiet. And a nice shot there by Majima to start off this round. Body kick there by Yokoyama. Kind of a jumping knee attempt there by Yokoyama. And Majima goes for the takedown. Easy takedown by Majima. But Yokoyama, back where he's most comfortable, laying elbows from the bottom now. Yokoyama have a chance to win now? I mean, he's looking for a submission. Oh, but a nice right elbow. He's not going to win. He's not going to win on the judges' scorecard, even if he has a solid like third round here. Unless he ends the fight on top, just beating the piss out of Majima, which he's not going to do. The path to victory for Yokoyama is a submission. 
I, I like Carlisle and Herbs as well. Which fight? Which fight? What's up, uh, Gun Toten Granny? Thank you so much for hopping in the stream. It's late, but I saw you on here and figured I'd say hi. Well, hello, Gun Toten Granny. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, my favorite Japanese MMA promotion is on tonight. So we're going to be up all night. I Oh, a nice upkick there by Yokoyama. I am so uninterested, Joe Hogan. Uh, so I guess hardly any thoughts, but uh, a sigh and a facepalm. Gun-toting granny. Big supporter of my uh, my podcast, The Soda Pod, but specifically The State of Hoppy and Spoke Z. Right back into the guard of Yokoyama is Majima now. Again, smash that like button if you haven't already, guys. Appreciate every single one of you joining us here. Two minutes and 41 seconds. Lifting up his right leg in high guard here. Creeping up. Maybe looking to try to set up a triangle. Man, honestly, Majima, credit for him. Defending all of these submissions. Yokoyama is no joke on his back. And Majima has been laying down ground and pound. Working well in his guard. Two minutes and 19 seconds. Can Yokoyama get it done? You know who the worst podcast for MMA picks is? Um, The worst? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had a good week. Or last two weeks, probably me. I'm not sure. Who is it? One minute and 53 seconds on the clock. Looking to try to maybe set up an arm triangle. Nah, Yokoyama's way too active here. One minute and 38 seconds. Majima mm, side or still in half guard here, trying to pass into side control. And oh, he almost got it. Half butterfly guard. Yokoyama employing that butterfly guard while still in half guard. Clint, I like Clint. I don't, but I I know him personally. Um, in uh, I know him from the hockey world, but yeah, he hasn't. Uh, I I follow him on Twitter as well. I know he hasn't had a good couple weeks. Lucas Tracy, I think Lucas Tracy's even worse. But yeah, I connected with Clint because uh, he's an Arizona Coyotes fan, and when I uh, was doing hockey content a couple years ago, that's where I first met him. Has he has he led you astray recently, Bet Pro Wrestling? Play pray for a split robbery. <laughs> Take back liking Clint. <laughs> hey, I didn't say I like his picks. But uh, like I said, I met the guy through uh, like the hockey media world, and yeah, I seems like a nice guy. Final 10 seconds on the clock here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, who do you think won? Oh, I think Majima won 100%. And Majima, Majima with a couple elbows to end that third round. He is standing on the ring like he won this one, going like this to the audience. And I think Majima is going to take this. <laughs> Horrible game plan by Takechi. Uh, you come off as genuine, he comes off as Fugazi. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Like I said, I don't I don't listen to his podcast much or or you know, I don't have time to listen to everyone's podcast, but like I said, I met him through hockey media and he seemed like a good guy. I follow him on Twitter, but uh hey, we all we all entitled to our opinion opinions. You know, appreciate the compliment in there as well. Why is he laying down like he got knocked out? Here are no ladies, bro. <laughs> what? Uh, Yoko Cron Gracie. 
just kept going for the triangle with no uh, leg locks. I've never heard you so quiet. Yeah, sorry I'm being so quiet. It's uh, 2.21 a.m. and my my roommates, literally my little office here where I stream from, my, my roommates are right above me, so I can't be hollering away. Oh, it looks like one of those last, one of those elbows cut him up pretty bad. So yeah, easy win, easy win by Majima. Uh, no, fair, hey, Pet Pro Wrestling, <laughs> vent away, buddy, vent away. Again, I'm, I'm not going to defend uh, uh, the picks or, or anything like that. Like I said, I just, I just, uh, I'm just going off of, of my interactions with him, but, uh, but fair enough. Noted, noted. I will say that, like, he's not in my rotation of guys that I, I watch when I, when I want to hear other others' opinions when I make my prediction videos. Um, but like I said, I usually talk hockey with him, not MMA. Majima wins. Majima wins. Uh, Bet Pro Wrestling, what are you doing up uh, so late? Are you are you a big Ryzen fan or are you just a, an all mixed martial arts fan? That's a nasty gash right above the right eyebrow on Yokoyama. All right. Can't wait for the kickboxing fight, too, folks. So we have two more fights until the intermission, guys. Oops, wrong one here. Two more fights until the intermission. Appreciate every single one of you who stuck by while we had some connection issues earlier. You guys are all amazing. I appreciate you all. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. And subscribe to the channel. Since you're here, you might as well subscribe. Wish I ignored this card now. I'm going to sleep night, y'all. Good night, Funk Master Flay. Uh, you're the best, my friend. You're the best, man. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Going for Nakahara on the next bout. Locking it in, Gravedigger Jones. I'm going to tap that like and head to bed. 2.30 here also. Mwah! Thank you so much for joining uh, Gun, Tote, and Granny. And thank you for all the support that you show the Soda Pod. For those who don't know, I do have a second channel. If you are a, a fan of hockey and beer, check out our channel. Second channel, the Soda Pod. All right, let's highlight these next two fighters here, ladies and gentlemen. We have Yoshiki. Nakahara up against Rikuto uh, Shirakawa. 17 and 6 for Nakahara. He's 30 years of age and he is 4 and 1 in his last five fights. I don't know why I keep playing with this pen. I have, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not writing anything down. <laughs> uh, the former one championship fighter is has eight KO TKOs, one submission, and seven decisions in his pro MMA career. He went three and one in, in one and two and one in Ryzen. He lost to Chiro Suzuki. I can't believe Suzuki went uh, went and beat Pitbull. That was crazy. That was one of the biggest upsets of the year, I think. Uh, beat a seven and three Akira Haraguchi. Be to 15 and 8 Seki, 6 and 2, 17 and 0 oh, uh, Emil Beck. That was a good win. Von Pancras, one championship, Ryzen, Gladiator, and Gratch. Dude, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. Looking at his opponent, Rikuto, Dark, Shiokawa. 11 and 8 as a pro, not the best record there, but he is on a win streak, a four fight win streak. He is also four and one in his last five fights, but on a win streak, unlike Nakahara, 32 years of age. Sorry about that, folks. Typology is tripping out here. Least of our worries here tonight is typology. Five KOTKO, zero submissions, six decisions. Three and one in Ryzen, six and six and one draw in deep. Oof. 
You don't want to be six and six and deep, dude. Uh, Shirakawa. Having fun with his walkout, though. Having fun with his walkout. He does have a good win in his last performance. A soccer kick KO against Takuya Yamamoto. He beat an eight and three guy and a 26, 15, and two. And nine. so two out of these last four wins have been good. The other two, meh. Lost to a one and two guy. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Um, beat a 14 and three guy. I mean, he has good wins on his resume, just very inconsistent. And they got to give it to the guy who's just fought in better promotions, fought better guys. I'm going with Nakahara. Take a look at the betting odds here. So Nakahara is the is the really big favorite. Nakahara is minus 500 on Bet Online, minus 357 on Betway, minus 400 on Bovada, and minus 354 or 344 on my bookie. Uh, Shirakawa plus 375 on Bet Online. Plus 250 on Betway, plus 275 on Bovada, and plus 266 on my bookie. He is the underdog, but we're going with the favorite in this one. I know the Russians and UFC vets, but only a few of the Ryzen fighters. I bet on Fukuda, Duffy, Erps, and Carlisle. Those are those are good ones. Those are good ones. I'm a profitable MMA. Better running out of online sites that don't limit. Nice. Yeah, Activate A, he, uh, he's been crushing it. He's been crushing it as of late in our live chat. And Anthony on TV won uh, 900 tonight. All right, making his walkout now is Yoshiki and Nakahara. And Lene Hart, the beautiful voice of Lene Hart, announcing his name as he makes his entrance. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Again, appreciate every single one of you who are joining us. So late. Sorry, this ticker's still going. So late. So early for Ryzen. Sorry about some of the technical issues we had earlier. But we're good. We're back. We're humming. Appreciate every single one of you. You guys are awesome. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Don't forget to vote in the poll question, too. Uh, we do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Okay, I'm just going to refill my coffee here, folks. We highlighted these fighters. I gave my prediction. I am locking in Nakahara as my pick. Grave Digger Jones did as well. Let me know your pick in the live chat, folks. Literally, be right back. Two minutes. I'm just going to refill my coffee.
All right, folks, we are back. Round one. Let's get it on just in the nick of time, baby. Let's go. We have Rakuto Sh uh, Shirakawa inside low kick by Sh uh, Shirakawa. He's in the red trunks, blue corner. Yoshiki Nakahara, the former one championship fighter, in the red corner, black trunks. Uh, took him for 800 tonight off UFC in another 285 if Nakahara wins. Let's go, Lush. I hope you hit it, buddy. Travis, no one's been able to find one, buddy, so we had to buy the pay-per-view. So for all favorites, I'm sleep. Need Nakahara to hit for my four-fight Ryzen ticket. I hope you hit it, buddy. All right, round one is in full swing here, and they're each swinging at each other's legs here, each of them trading leg kicks. Three minutes and 48 on the clock. Oh, that sucks, bit pro wrestling. Yeah, that, that is frustrating. Glad glad you they ended up paying though. Three minutes and thirty-three seconds on the clock. Pushing Shirakawa into the corner, looking for the takedown here, the left or the right single leg. Nakahara. Trying to take Shirakawa to the ground, and he slam takes him back down to the ground in the corner here. But he's not on his back or anything. Still has the body lock. Shirakawa trying to get back up to his feet. Again, big shout out to everyone joining us. So late here for Ryzen. My apologies. I got to whisper my way through this stream, but uh, my whole household is asleep right now. And my roommate's smoking ribs tomorrow. And I don't want to wake him up and, and piss him off because I want some of those ribs. <laughs> Two minutes and 46 seconds on the clock. I'm actually looking forward to that kickboxing fight and Poe hopefully smashes in round one. Hope that hits uh, for you, Lush. Yeah, I'm I'm always looking forward to the kickboxing fights in in, uh, in Ryzen. They always deliver. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Nice left there by Nakahara as he... Tries to drag that left leg of Shirakawa away from the corner. Oh, and a nice knee to the body. And Nakahara does not want to give up on that left leg. I'm going to pull it backwards and push him down. One minute and 51 seconds on the clock. And you can see uh, Shirakawa, he's frustrated right now. Dragging, grabbing and dragging that left leg was Nakahara, but only for a moment. Good defense there by Shirakawa. And another slam by Nakahara. But right back up is Shirakawa. You see, you see the other guy was non-kickboxing spirits, just MMA, and Paul got... A lot more experience. Oh, I, I didn't look at their records yet, no. But uh, good thing you did. Good thing you did. Oh, a nice left there by Shirakawa. <laughs> Sumo fight, says Travis. Uh, first round's still going on uh, UFC versus MMA TV. Right, 34 seconds, ref separates them. Todd Duffy sumo match. <laughs> High kick attempt there by Shirakawa. Final 15 seconds left in this first round. Uh, Fukuda hit now. Just need the parlay or Duffy to win to have a winning car. Hopefully all three hit. 
I'm hoping for uh, I'm hoping for it too, buddy. And that is it for the first round. All right, what do you guys think? Who do you think won that first round? I think it's pretty even. I don't think either of them have done too much damage to the other. But Nakahara, obviously, there's control time there. He's been landing takedowns, two slam takedowns, but hasn't been able to do anything with them. I I, I will say that. But because Shirakawa has not been answering with many strikes, oh, there's a nice left elbow by Nakahara, as we see in the replay. Yeah. Not many strikes from Nakahara, but the strikes that he has thrown have been good, and yeah, Shirakawa has not been throwing much back at him. That's the end of the first round. That's my thoughts on the round. Now, I know Ryzen doesn't judge the fight round per round. It's not a 10-point must, but first round right now, Shirakawa definitely has to do more if he wants to win the second. Or sorry, uh, look better in the second and possibly win this fight if it goes the distance in the third. Is the Duffy fight off? I haven't heard anything about it. Uh, Ka Kazumasa fight? No, no, that one's done, buddy. I bet my house on... Oh, shoot. I bet my house on Superlick the other day, and I'm glad he, uh, I'm glad it panned out. All right. Second round, four minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Someone let me know. Someone do a quick little, little Twitter search. Let me know if Todd Duffy pulled out. I didn't see anything on that matter. Four minutes and 22 seconds. Both of them still on their feet here. Shirakawa threw a head kick. Inside low kick by Shirakawa. Uh, I'm looking right now, guys. There's just, everything's in Japanese, so I, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing in English, anyways. Not even on the rise in English Twitter Twitter account. Three minutes and forty seven seconds on the clock. Oh, they didn't even weigh in. Oh shit. I did not know that. Uh, Rukia Anpo for the next one, as his opponent is an MMA fighter, not a kickboxer. And uh, shout to Activate A for that tidbit there. Three minutes and 22 and 20 seconds in the second round. Ooh, inside low kick there by Nakara. Nakahara. Looking for that right single leg again is Nakahara. He's not going to get him, man. Great defense there by Shirakawa. And we're back to how we ended that first round. Nakara pushing Shirakara into the corner. Literally right back to where we're in the in the first round. Two minutes and 36 seconds. And Nakahara desperately trying to go for that left single leg. Right hands there, they separate back to the center of the ring and they're throwing bombs in the pocket. A knee to the body. Oh, it dropped him plus a kick. Shirakawa landed a couple good kicks on Nakahara. High kick attempt. And here we go, back on their feet, and Shirakawa's throwing bombs here. And look for the takedown, and he finally gets it. He gets it with the double leg. Yeah, I did a quick news search too, and it, it, it looks like the fight's still on, dude. Not for a long time, dude. We, we got a lot of fights left. Nakahara. Landing shots here. 
on Shirakawa, the side of his, the left side of his head doesn't have full back control, but he does have a body lock right now. Pushing him up against the ropes and controlling him there. Let's see if he's going to land some knees. No, he just wants to drag him off the ropes. The dog looks good in the next fight. Watching tape now. Fifty-three seconds on the clock. I'm too poor to pay twenty dollars USD. Cancel your Netflix. Watch Ryzen instead. In the top position, here's Nakahara. 33 seconds on the clock. Inside control. And looking to slam Shirakawa down. I like that. Shirakawa's holding the shoulder of Nakahara. And, and Nakahara is just slamming his head on the mat. He's literally grabbing his head and slamming it on the mat. Oh, another head slam to the mat. Unorthodox striking, but it's he's just continuing to grab his head and slam it on the mat. Another one here. Five seconds left in the second round. Melly, I think he is. I think he is. And that is it for the second round. I would say yes, Melly. All right, round three coming up here, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the fight thus far. I think Nakahara is. Like I said, is winning thus far? N narrowly, though, but. You know what, though? He was dropped with that shot. He was dropped with that shot. So, it, it, dare I say it's close? It's not a 10-point must system, but Nakahara did get dropped with some heavy shots there and almost got soccer kicked. And it's not like he almost finished Shirakawa. He just got in top position and got a couple takedowns like he did in the first round. So it's it, it could be a pretty even fight. I mean, the, the fact that Nakahara got dropped in that second round. Not clean. Wait, yellow card? Oh, What? Shirakara gets a, a yellow card at the end or at the start of this third round because apparently he was holding the ropes too much in the second round. Let's get it all! Third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes and 49 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Shirakawa. Straight right jab by Nakahara. Oh, and a nice fake with that left to set up that right hand by Shirakawa, and that lands. Inside low kick by Shirakawa. On the feet, Shirakawa's look better. Inside low kick, high kick by Nagahara, trying to set up that level change. Or oh, a nice left hand there by Nagahara. Straight left. I don't know what it, what it means in Ryzen, because I'm just used to it in one now. I'm looking it up, though. Three minutes and 53 seconds on the clock. They're both, they're still on their feet. Oh, this is, the article's way too big. Yellow car, 10% of purse. 10% of purse. Three minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Nice right hand by Nakahara. Yo, can you shout out my buddy Joe Dirt? Good movie. Good movie. Shout Joe Dirt. Three minutes on the clock. And the shin of Nakahara. Bleeding there. Glad that this third round has been mostly a standing affair, I will say. Right hand by Nakahara. And Nakahara is landing the better shots in this third round. 
Not in the second, though. He got rocked in the second. Yeah, yeah, like in one championship. I love how in one championship they can give a red card and just kick you out of the ring. Like, no, you, you're going to forfeit money and you're going to, and we're kicking you out of the ring because you're just not good enough. A uh, high kick by Shirakawa. I think he's still winning. I think he's still winning. Beautiful left hand by Nakahara and going for the takedown. Doesn't get it, but surprise, surprise, trying to grab that right leg to drag it out like he's been doing this whole time. Dragging him, pouncing on him again here is Nakahara. Shirakawa back up to his feet. Looking for the takedown again was Nakahara. Looking to slam him again. And he does. No problem, buddy. No problem. Happy to help. I'm happy you're here. One minute and 15 seconds on the clock. Another takedown by Nakahara. Oh, look for the rear naked choke now? Is Nakahara looking for a rear naked choke? Fifty-five seconds on the clock here, final minute. Oh, a nice right hand there by Nakahara. Back up to their feet. Inside low kick by Shirakawa. Kick to the body by Nakahara. Final 30 seconds, folks. Outside low kick. Ooh, and looking for a big counter there was Nakahara. Nakahara looking for one more takedown, and he gets it, and he almost, he almost sends Shirakawa through the ropes. Oh, 20% deduction, dude. 20% deduction. Nice knees there by Nakara. And that is it. That is it for the fight, ladies and gentlemen. 20% activate. Eh? Melly, amazing commentary. Got a bet on the fight. So just being sure my fighters are doing well. No problem. Happy to give you updates. And uh, thank you for the for the compliment. It's a lot better when I'm not whispering, but it's 2.49 a.m. right now, and my entire household is sleeping. Oh, scorecard. Jeez, because I was like 20%. I'm like, damn, that's a big hit. Okay, well, they got to update the, the One Championship website because I was literally on their website reading rules, but maybe it was just because it translated weird. I don't know, but okay. Damn, 27 percent production or deduction of the score, not the money. That's still that's still quite a bit. Anyways, with that being the case, and on top of the, I don't want to say great performance, but the relentless pressure of that of a Nakahara, I think Nakahara is going to win this one. That's interesting, though. Twenty percent of a deduction of the score. Uh, what's up, JP? Shout out to Travis. Unanimous decision, Yoshiki Nakahara. Come on, baby. Good display of respect between these guys. And there we go. There we go. Nakahara. Solid fighter in one championship and... We got Suzuki on the uh, on the broadcast here tonight, guys. All right, final fight before we take an intermission break. And don't worry, we won't take an, an, the entire intermission break. We'll probably take like a 10 to 15 minute break. We're not going to take a freaking 40 minute break. Don't worry.
We're back, CCTV. We're back, CCTV. There was an internet outage from Xfinity on my whole block, but we're back. You got this, Melly. Love it. Let's go. JP, can you shout out my friend Tat? Shout out Tat. I'm hitting the sheets, boys. It's like 4 a.m. Thanks, City Life Project. No problem, Loosh. Hope everyone's having a great night. It's better now that the CCTV 420 is here, ladies and gentlemen. Loosh, thank you so much for joining. Hope to see you again soon. All right, here we go. The first and only kickboxing fight on the card. The first and only kickboxing fight. Let's get into it. I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and we'll highlight the next two fighters. Uh, appreciate every single one of you viewing. Over 20 of you viewing for Ryzen. That's huge, guys. That's huge. Thank you so much for joining. I want to hear your guys' predictions for this next one as well. All right. We have Rikaya Anpo against Show Patrick Usami. Oh, we're looking at some of the highlights from both of these guys. Dude, I can't wait for this one. I can't wait for this one. All right. Rukia Enpo, 27 years of age, up against Show Patrick Usami, who's 23. Let's take a look at Usami first. So Usami is a pro MMA, pro MMA record of six and two. This is box or kickboxing, guys. He's five KO TKOs in again pro MMA, two and one in Ryzen, no kickboxing experience. But he is a knockout artist. Looking at that of who is a kickboxer, Rikuya Enpo. He's won three in a row in kickboxing. The match, Kafesta, the K1 World Grand Prix. Wait, he won the K1 Grand Prix? Or didn't win, just got a win in the Grand Prix. So he's a K1 guy. Damn. Very impressive kickboxer. Wow. Always fun. Uh, crush as well. Yeah, I'm going with Anpo on this. I'm going with Anpo. What are the odds? What are the odds for this one? Anpo minus 360 on Betline. Minus 400 on Betway. Minus 525 on Bovada. And minus 416 on my bookie. That's crazy. Usami is the... 375 favorite or underdogs are on bet online plus 250 underdog on betway plus 275 underdog on bovada and plus 260 underdog on my bookie yeah i'm going with enpo <laughs> that punch shut uh that dude down like a mofo yes that was insane Showpot plus 310 and definitely could win. Couldn't bet him was too late. I'm just always scared when a pure kickboxer goes up against a pure MMA fighter. Because the MMA fighter, they always get cracked. In kickboxing. Like this isn't an MMA. That's what's scaring me. I got Ampo. Solid striker. Gravedigger Jones saying, show can do this. How confident are you, uh, Kleber Koike, in the main? I I'm very confident. Very confident. Look, his opponent is a good journeyman. 30 wins, 14 losses, and 5 and five uh, draws. And he's fought everywhere. 3-3 three and three in Sangoku. 3-1 and one in Ryzen. He was even in the UFC between 2014 and 2016. Fought in K1 a couple times. He's just a little long in the tooth. Mind you, he is on a three-fight win streak. 
only one of those wins is like a good win. He beat a 16 and 8 guy, a 14 and 3, and a 24 and 10. He beat a 9 and 1 guy back in 2016, but I mean, yeah. Mostly a grappler. Mostly a grappler is uh, Masanori Kanahara. 40 years old. Yeah. Clever is going to destroy him. I got Anpo in two parlays. Let's go. Anpo kicks are lethal from what I watched. Looks pretty dangerous on the feet. Uh, show Pat. Yeah, again, but MMA fighter on the feet. Very different. Very different once you enter the kickboxing realm. True, true. Appreciate it. I think at like, you know, around plus 285, that's that's about where the odds should be, in my opinion. But a pure striker in MMA who's, you know, probably trains kickboxing, so. I mean, there's a reason they made this fight. They're hoping it's going to be somewhat competitive. If it was an absolute layup for the kickbox, they probably wouldn't have even put it on this card. Seeing how both of them are Japanese as well. All right, entering the ring is the second half of this affair. Rukia and Po. All right, circling the ring here is Enpo. That's the first yawn of the night. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Anpo just entered the ring. I, I I thought Usami already was there. Usami's making his walk out now. Again, keep the comments coming, as you guys know. Love the interaction here. You guys are awesome. Appreciate every single one of you. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All right, what's his walkout music? Man, like I said, I just love the theatrics of Ryzen. Oh, this is this is a good walkout. So, dude, the crowd's going crazy right now. The crowd is going crazy. I've had the volume so low because the the English commentators just. Their volume is jacked the way the hell up. Yeah, no problem. The crowd. Oh, here comes Lene Hart. Oh, really? Oh, my broadcast just froze there. And the volume cut out. Right when Lene Hart was about to announce him. The volume cut out? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Anyways, hope we get the volume back there. But making his walk out now. Oh, just switched over to the Japanese broadcast. Anyways. Rukia Anpo. Okay, we're, we're on the Japanese side of things now. That's okay. That's okay. Honestly, I kind of like the Japanese broadcast better. Same as going off and on. We good, boys. We good. All right. Last minute to let me know your predictions in the live chat, guys. I think most of us are going with Anpo, but respect to Bet Pro Wrestling. I mean, if Usami lands a good shot there and he knocks out Anpo. Bet Pro Wrestling has every right to be like, I fucking a told us so. Oh, okay, we're back. English broadcast and everything. Uh, I, I do, I do. Both fighters in the ring. Both fighters being looked at by the cup men. Last fight till the intermission, ladies and gentlemen. And the intermissions are about, what, 20... Or about like 30 to 40 minutes, maybe a little bit less. We're going to take about 10 to 15 minute break. 
when the intermission uh, when the intermission starts. People in the fight chat got a guy who specifically woke up only for only Spike's fight. That is amazing. That is amazing. Hey, uh, Ryzen's bringing out the stars for their Japanese broadcast. God, I'm so excited for this one, guys. I'm so excited. Three three-minute rounds. Kickboxing in the Ryzen ring. We've been watching so much Muay Thai this last week. It's good to watch some kickboxing here. Wish there was more than just one car, one fight on the card, but I think next weekend there's a couple. Again, making his kickboxing debut in the promotion is Show Patrick Usami and Anpo, decorated kickboxer, 25 and 6 in kickboxing, K1. In particular. All right. Excited for this one, folks. Excited for this one. Uh, Nakagawa won. Dude, I'm so excited for this one. Let's go. Let's go. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. The only kickboxing fight on the card. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Yes, I thought that was sexy, Yama. I was going to say. Oh, nice body kick there. By Anpo. But Usami landed a shot there. Usami landed a shot there. Ref separates him from the clinch. Outside low kick in a right hand by Usami. Double left hook by Usami. Anpo playing with him a little bit. Anpo looks a little too relaxed, man. Usami looks dialed. Bet Pro Wrestling, man. He may be on to something. Two minutes on the clock. And a right hand and an uppercut there by Usami. Uh, Majima won. Majima won. One minute and 52 seconds on the clock. Straight left jab. Oh, and a nice right hand there by Anpo. And a left hook. A right hand and a right hand before he engaged in the clinch and a left hook. Catching the leg kick was Usami. Usami pressuring Anpo on the back foot right now. One minute and 29 seconds on the clock. One minute and 20 seconds. Body kick there by. And Po. Oh, right hand by Ann Po. They clinch. Ref separates. Final minute of the first round. Body kick there by Usami. Fifty seconds. Outside low kick by Anpo and Usami rushes in and they each land some good shots there in the pocket. You can see Usami wearing more damage though early. Thirty seconds on the clock in this first round. Oh, and a nice left there. Another explosive left and a right there by Usami. Usami hasn't been landing on all those blitzing shots that he throws. But he, he doesn't look out of his place here in kickboxing. Out of place, I should say. Final 10 seconds, and that is it for the first round. 
Not a bad first round. I like how explosive Usami is. But Anpo, I think, has landed the better shots. And look at the face of Usami. It would agree. Round two coming up here, ladies and gentlemen. Nice shot to the body there as well. As we've seen the highlights by Anpo. My apologies for whispering, by the way, folks. My It is 3 a.m. right now and everyone in my house is asleep. Great combo there by Anpo. Let me know your thoughts, folks. Let me know your thoughts. I think Anpo won that first round. 10-9. Let me know your thoughts. All right. Second round coming up here in just a moment. Getting iced on that right side of his face right now is Usami. But here we, here we go. Second round is upon us. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. Only kickboxing fight here tonight. And so far, it's been exciting. Let's get it on! Right, round two. Shout out to everyone watching, by the way. You all are amazing. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. And put definitely calm and taking his shots. Absolutely. Rusami's bum rushing in. Straight left by Usami. And a right there. By Usami. Anpo with a right. Anpo with a left. And those are hard shots by Anpo. Two minutes and 15 seconds. Anpo with an outside low kick. And both an inside low kick. Usami with the left hook. And Anpo saying, yeah, hit me, hit me in the hit me in the body. Try to hit me low. Straight left. Oh, look at that kick combo there by Anpo. Double leg kick comp combination by Anpo. That was tremendous. Double, like, that was crazy, dude. Oh, and a big right hand there by Anpo. One minute and 30 seconds. Body shot. Anpo landed a big body shot there on Usami. One minute and 15 seconds on the clock. High kick attempt there by Anpo. Anpo with a double left jab, followed by a right, followed by a left hook. Now that the right or left hook lands, low kick there. Now Anpo pressuring Usami into the corner, and a right and a left. And a low kick by Anpo. Right in the nuts, Usami complains to the judges. Oh, sorry, complains to the ref, and he's going to get some time to recover here. 50 seconds left in the second round. Usami's taking some time after that low blow. Shaking it off, shaking it off. Let's take a look at the replay. Dude, Ampo's kicks are sick. Oh, yeah. Toes are right to the balls. That, that double kick, I don't know what to call it. Just a quick pop. pop. Unbelievable. Those switch up. That them switch ups were ridiculous. You should win round one and two UFC versus MMA TV. Oh, spinning heel kick and it landed. Who saw me through a spinning heel kick and it landed? There wasn't a lot of force on it though because Ambo was okay. 31 seconds left in the second round. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Tried to land that counter left was Usami doesn't land. Outside low kick by Ampo. Ref separates. 15 seconds. Side kick attempt by Ampo. Outside low kick by Ampo. Trying to counter with a few shots. Was Usami didn't land anything clean. And that is it for the second round.
I got Ampo up. Uh, I got I got uh, Ampo up two rounds, guys. I got Ampo up two rounds. By the sounds of it, Ampo is winning. Oh yeah. He's he looks damn good. He looks damn good. First round took some shots he probably shouldn't have, but really put it together in the second round. <sighs> Sorry, folks. Second yawn of the night. Oh, it's uh, uh, Asakura's there with Sexyama. Ringside. All right, third and final round coming up here, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate every single one of you. He's class. All right, here we go. Third and final round in this kickboxing affair, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate every single one of you who are joining round three. Let's get it all! Touch gloves in the third round. Nice body kick there by... Usami, Usami, steps in there with some good shots there, but Anpo blocked most of them. Did you know Asker is really popular on YouTube? Askren? You mean Ben Askren? Class in Scotland means he's really good. Oh, okay, got you. He's very good. Two minutes and 16 six. I didn't know that, but now I know that. Thank you, Melly. I want to go to Scotland so bad. I want to go hike and drink there. Oh, no, the Japanese asker. Oh, okay. I know. I did not know that. I did not know that. Oh, and Ampo dropped Usami. I did not know that. That's why my mind went to Ben Askren first. I didn't even know he had a YouTube channel. One minute and 48 seconds here. And Ampo dropped Usami. And Ampo with a left and a right. Ampo running at him here. Ampo looking to finish. Tie clinch. And a knee on Usami. Oh, he says it's low. He says it was a low blow, and Usami's in a lot of pain right now. Oh, dude, Usami's in a lot of pain. Hell yeah, dude. I want to go hiking and drinking in Scotland. I will eventually. Dude, Usami is still, still in pain. We gotta see. I, I gotta see a better shot of the replay here. Yeah, that didn't look low. That's why I want to see the replay. All right, let's take a look at the replay here. It looks like his his left his left glove defended it. That wasn't low by the angles. He's like slobbering though. I mean, dude, th I, I knew the zombie was popular on YouTube. It's crazy. Uh, th this might have been a little too theatric. Activate A. That got to hurt. I, I'm, I'm trying to find where where he hit him. But clearly he's hurt, so I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt because, well, any man who gets hit there, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt that it's absolute hell. So the crowd is pretty silent, says the broadcasters. They're waiting to see and hear what happens. Usami sitting in his corner right now, recovering. The kidneys. Yeah, but if it's the kidneys, then this fight should be still going. But regardless, yes, if it hit him in the kidneys, I mean, that would hurt as well. 90 seconds left in the recovery time allotted. 
90 seconds, or sorry, 90 seconds left in the fight, not in the recovery time, but 90 seconds left in the fight. And Usami still taking his time here. Again, 1 minute and 33 seconds left in this round. And Po trying to get the crowd back in it. Hopefully not a no contest. Looks like Usama's going to finish this fight. Attaboy. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And look, oh, and Po just is seeing blood right now. All right, one minute and 33 seconds left in this one and only kickboxing match on this card. Thank God this is activated. Thank goodness. He's saving your guys' bets. All right, they're just making the time. They're just making sure that the time is correct on the clock and everything, and then they'll get back to it. All right, crowd's clapping. They're back in it. And Ampo's going to get the yellow card. Now, what does yellow card mean in one or in uh, Ryzen kickboxing? Was worried they're going to screw him. It's going to be an active one minute and 33 seconds. Okay, here we go. Final 90 seconds of this third round. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. And a big swinging right there by Usami. And Ampo throws him to the ground. Oh, and they're exchanging words to each other here. One minute and 18 seconds. They're talking to each other. Trying to land a spinning heel kick was that of Usami. Left hand and a right hand and a left again by Anpo. They separate. 54 seconds, final minute, and a left step in left by Anpo. Anpo throwing those knees again. 45 seconds. Outside low kick by Usami. Nice right hand by Anpo. Left hook by Anpo, followed by a straight right hand. Oh, and a right. And a low kick. Anpo's kicks are so quick. Body kick, and he's down. That was a liver kick, and it is over. I imagine this is going to be over. Is he going to get up? Huge kick to the body. He's getting the count. And Poe gets back up. What a warrior, man. Final 13 seconds. And Poe back up on his feet here. Or sorry, uh, Usami back on his feet here. And that is it for the fight. Usami gets apparently kneed in the balls. Gets dropped by a body shot, a kick late in the third. He gets dropped in the third. Yeah, his opponent gets the yellow card. I still have... I still have Anpo winning this fight, guys. His showmanship is funny. Was worried for a second. Ampo is a beast. Damn. Just pushing him and just. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a character, man. He's a character indeed. Two knockdowns in the third round, even though he got a yellow card. I think I'm pulling the first two rounds as well. So, damn, son. All right, we'll see how the judges score this one. 
We're awaiting the decisions. How do you guys score this one? Let me know in the live chat. I got it for Anpo. Uh, we're waiting to hear UFC versus MMA. Still waiting for the decision here. Okay, here we go. Hey, for Usami having his first kickboxing fight in the promotion, not bad. All right, two judges have Varan Po. Unanimous decision. Kia Anpo takes a unanimous decision. Hey, good display of respect there. You can you can tell that Usami's still a little bit annoyed, but yeah, it has to be. Yes, let's go. Bowing to the audience is that of Usami. And that's it for like the first big chunk of the card, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep tabs on on what goes down on the broadcast too. But they are gonna take an intermission here in a little bit. We will also take an extended break about about ten to fifteen minutes max. But uh, we'll await uh, one champion. Or, whoa, I almost we'll await Ryzen's uh, intermission before we take our little break as well. I can't believe y'all are staying up with us. You guys are amazing. Appreciate you guys. Oh. <laughs> Gotta love Horizon, dude. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Inviting him into the ring. Let's go. All right, we're listening into this, guys. This could get heated here. The next kickboxing match. He He's a kickboxer. He's the guy who knocked out, um, who had that knockout against the dude who was like standing frozen. I forgot his name. Brazilian, though, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, he's a kickboxer. Yeah, he's a kickboxer. Okay, let's listen into his uh his speech. Saying he's satisfied he got to smack around his opponent. Sucks he couldn't finish him. So he'll give him that. And that's it. Good speech. Good speech. See, so he'll give him props. As, uh, it's tough challenging in a different sport. But uh, no, good fight. Good fight. Dude, I can't believe it. Todd Duffy, just a few months ago in KSW, fighting for their belt. Now he's in Ryzen. Fighting Sudario. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? Here, activate it. Let me, I can maybe even find that, uh, that knockout. Uh, let's see. Kickboxing, KO, Rising. I'll find it. I'll find it. Here we go. So I think Sakibara is going to enter. Yeah, enter the ring. They're going to announce some upcoming fights and then we'll go to intermission. Sakibara, Sakibara son is addressing the crowd right now.
So we're listening into the broadcast as well, guys. I'll 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 translate once we get some updates. Wait, who who tested positive? Wait, what is going on? Kimura? Kimura? So you're saying one of the fighters... Okay, anyway, so, so one of the fighters tested a positive for steroids... I don't think they're on this card. I think they're on the one for next week. But there's a uh, Suzuki here in the ring with his next opponent as well. Uh, this is the knockout I was referring to, by the way, guys. This is going to be a good fight, by the way. I love both of these fighters. Uh, this was the one I was. That one. Here, I'll share it in the live chat. That's the guy who was, who was ripping off his shirt. Oh, so oh, so the guy ripped off her shirt. He's the one who tested positive for steroids. That's ironic. I swear, I thought they were going to say Duffy. Dude, me too. Me too. Dude, Suzuki's, uh, he's slowly but surely turning into a star for Ryzen. Again, that big, again, that win against Patricio Pitbull, unbelievable. Who do you think will win? Uh, Sudario? I don't know yet, dude. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'll give my official prediction on the other side. I'm scared he gets chinned. I'm scared he gets chinned. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm scared he gets chinned, but like Sudario's not the best best fighter he's okay are you guys mo most people are leaning todd duffy i got todd duffy here <laughs> oh, oh really so he knew he was caught how many fights left? Four more fights left, Joe Hogan. Uh, they're going to take an intermission here, though, in a little bit. It's about a... Well, usually it's about like 30 minutes, I think. I said 40 earlier. That was that was way longer than it actually is. It's like 20 to twenty to 30. Oh, he's fighting uh, Vugar, rip. So, yeah, so how they do it on their cards here, they'll do, um, they'll do a chunk of fights, and then they'll do a little break here they'll announce the next few fights and, and bring guys into the ring give some housekeeping updates and then they'll go for a little bit of an intermission vugar Kar karamov will probably sub him i like them both dude Okay, so November 4th, they have a card in Tokyo. They also have a Qatar card coming up. Holy hell, the nose on that guy. Kevin Bacon be damned. <laughs> uh, the card is on Azerbaijan. Oh, nice. We're just listening into a sucky bar song. Oh, 
Okay, so they're announcing another fight here. Cool. So they're just uh giving a chance or giving the mic to two of the next fighters here. Ota has the mic right now. No, UFC versus MMA, it's not gonna start for a while, buddy. Tofik is back on it as well. Okay, and his opponent's taking it on short notice. For those who are joining us and, and don't know what's going on, uh, there's no fights right now. Um, we are nearing the intermission of the program before the last four fights. And before the intermission, uh, Saki Barasan um updates everyone on what's going on in the world of Ryzen and announces a few big fights and that's what they're doing right now so some of the fighters featured in some of these big fights coming up uh, have the mic right now so one uh replacement fighter uh, to fight Ota, uh, just had the mic and he's introducing himself to the audience. Who won the last fight? Pretty one sided, my dude. Pretty one sided. Uh, Rukia Enpo beat Show Patrick Usami, dropped him a couple times in this third round as well. Uh, Davi fought a much better opponent than Sidorio. I think it's. A matter of who will land first. Oh, for sure, for sure. Dude, landmark six next weekend. Can't wait. October 1st. Landmark six, rising in a cage. All right, so what else is Sakibara-san talking about here? Nina, thank you so much for joining, by the way. I appreciate you. I need Spike, Ushiku, and Herbs to win. Added Cody Keel for tomorrow. Fury as well. Uh, what's up, Stefan? Who are you leaning more into? Oh man, I just I just don't trust his chin at all. At thirty seven, and I mean, he fought four years ago, came back and lost to Phil DeFree in, in KSW, and he got knocked out by Phil DeFree. Phil DeFree is more of a jujitsu guy. Now, I'm not super high on uh, Sudario. What are the odds like on this right now? Let me see the odds. Uh, Sudario's the favorite, minus 240 bet online, minus 350 betway, minus 285 Bovada, and minus 344 my bookie. Dude, Todd Duffy, former UFC fighter, is the un underdog, plus 190 bet online, plus 260 on betway, plus 210 Bovada, and plus 262 on my bookie. Oh, this one's tough. I'm leaning towards Sudario. I'm leaning towards Sudario. Honestly, I just don't trust the chin of, of Duffy anymore. There he is, Key. He's the one I was talking about with the big YouTube channel. Yes. Are they video chatting his opponent? He's calling his next opponent? Come on, Ryzen. You can do better than this. <laughs> I'm going to take a risk. Do it, Nina. You had Duffy, then the odds flip you're going to learn. Uh, da, 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 da. 
I didn't have Duffy. I didn't make any pre-fight predictions, did I? No, there's no video on it. Uh, I'm uh, honestly, I, I there's no winner. It's gonna be a sloppy heavyweight battle, and uh, I don't really care who wins out of this one because I have no stake in it. I'm scared of his chin, man. I'm scared of his chin, but again, I'm not a huge fan of Sidario, so I'll guess I'm gonna go with Sidario. Feel the freeze, no joke though. But uh, yeah, I hope Todd Duffy wins. I hope Todd Duffy wins, but I'm scared. Staying all night, man. Absolutely, absolutely. I need Sidario, Carlisle, and Kleber. Twenty-five dollar fourteen leg parlay, or paying, or sorry, twenty-five dollar fourteen leg parlay paying, uh, one thousand. I don't know who's on the phone right now, by the way. Shadori will KO him quick. Yeah, what's going on? Rooting for Duffy. His chin is definitely subject, but plus 210. I know, and that's what's tough about this. Rooting for Duffy, indeed. Uh, hey, brother, hope you're doing good. Just been watching the card the whole time, chilling in the chat. What fight has been your favorite? The first fight? Because me too. Absolutely the first fight. The first fight was electric. Yeah, the, the first fight was electric. I would I would say that one's my favorite. But my vote, no, I'm just whispering, buddy. I'm just whispering. It's 3.38 a.m. and my roommates are sleeping, so I gotta be quiet. They're making a fight on the spot. This is a this is amazing. This is amazing. I got a perfect I got the perfect opponent for you. Saki Barasan just called up one of his fighters and he's like, bro, I got an opponent for you. He's in the ring with me right now. Did he accept? He's saying this is insane. Handing the phone off. All right, talk to my agent, bitch. It's time to negotiate. Yeah, we saw that. Rooting for Luke. Guess JDM versus Jeff Neal next. That That's going to be a fun fight. Talk about a scrap in the pocket. Dude, are they making this fight for next week? Me too. I hope he sleeps that Irish. Again, folks, we're just watching um, th this part of the card where Saki Barrison gives us updates uh, of what's going on in the world of Ryzen, announces some fights, and then we hear some of these fighters also address the crowd. <laughs> well, that was fun, I guess. That was fun. Like how sometimes I call Shane live here on the channel. Sakibara son called his uh called the fighter and was like, yo, you you want to fight? We got a fight for you. All right, guys, we have it was canceled. What? It's not on the card. It's not on the card here, guys. I guess it was canceled. It's not it's not on the belt order right now. Oh my god. Yeah, they were losing fights on that card apparently, so this is so this is they can stack it up. Yuri was a Chad back in Ryzen. So was Manel Cap. 
Uh, Saitama is a rural place in Japan. Dude, it's legendary for pride events. They show in highlights of Sudario just to troll us. Man. I looked it up earlier too and it said it was still on. Oh, that's cool. There's so much history, uh, fight history in this arena. Damn, dude. I was looking it up earlier and I, I couldn't find any. I mean, it said that everything was okay. I'm doing another quick uh, search here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So seven hours ago, an article was written. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And it said he was supposed to fight tonight. So seven hours ago, an article from uh, Mike Heck of MMA of MMA uh, fighting was released, and and that's the that's the most recent article that I can see that had any news on the matter. Hmm. We're doing some researching on the fly, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing some researching on the fly. Big shout to everyone watching us right now. Uh, Ryzen is currently in their intermission. And we're just trying to see what happened with the Todd Duffy fight. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, let's see. I'm on the Ryzen English Twitter account. Oh, and of course, five hours. They, uh, yep. So, yeah, this was taken off the card. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm just seeing if they had, like, made a statement about it. Man, I'm sorry, guys. I, I totally thought this was still, this fight was still going on. Um, da, 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 da. So there's just so many highlights on this uh, Twitter account right now. I'm just scrolling through the Twitter account right now and seeing if they had an official like statement on the matter. And credit credit to the English Rise account. They post highlights for days, dude. Because I'm still okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if there's any update. Yeah, I can't find. This is why I didn't hear about it. Because like I, I follow a lot of the the Ryzen. I follow the Ryzen accounts. I follow the MMA accounts. I follow MMA news accounts. And I didn't see anything on the matter. Hmm. Yeah. So sorry about that, folks. I just saw from a Reddit comment. We don't know, Minnow. We're trying to figure it out. Visa issues. But it's crazy that they... So, visa issues, yet they canceled it five hours ago. I asked the fight chat. They said no visa, I'm guessing, for Duffy. Oh, well, that's disappointing, guys. My apologies. I know it's not my fault, but I was I was acting like I thought it was going on. So I guess only three more fights. We're going right to the Spike Carlisle fight next. Talk about another guy with a decorated uh, MMA career who's fought seemingly everywhere. UFC, Bellator, now Ryzen. Okay, guys, we're going to take a quick break here. All right, we're going to take a quick break here. There's 15 minutes left in this intermission. Intermission. We're going to take about 10 minutes or so. Uh, Duffy's opponent tested positive for steroids. Also, not visa issues. Opponent tested positive for steroids. Damn. Is that kickboxer in the audience also tested positive for steroids? Spike got some underrated wins. Yeah, I like Spark, Spike Carlisle. Mike Jones. Damn, that's unfortunate. Okay, guys, we're going to take a break. We're going to take an extended break here. We're going to take our own intermission. Uh, don't go anywhere. 
Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. We'll be back very, very soon, okay? We'll be back in five to ten minutes. Don't worry, I won't put that... Uh, <laughs> I won't put that song you guys heard when we were having technical issues on. But uh, vote in the poll question. Smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. We will be back in about five to ten minutes after our little intermission here to call the last three fights on this card. Again, appreciate every single one of you. You all are amazing. Smash that like button. We'll be back on the other side.
What is up, everybody? We are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Sorry I'm whispering. I mean, it's freaking 4 a.m. 4 a.m. in Minnesota right now. Shout out to all the homies. Shout out to all the exclusive members. Shout out to all the supporters of this channel who are still up. Shout out to all the gambling degenerates who are still up watching Ryzen with us. Ryzen 44. Now, I know we're, we are all upset that the Todd Duffy fight is not going down. But we do have three damn good matchups coming up in the last part of this card here, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what's even better? You know what's even sweeter? You know what the icing on the cake is? The cherry on top, dare I say? We have a whole other rising card next week, and that is right, Landmark 6, baby. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. So again, thank you all for supporting us here. Oh, oh I just hit my fucking funny bone on the corner of my desk. <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing funny about what just happened. <laughs> oh, you guys all saw that live. <laughs> my God. Anyways, what a stream this has been. We have about, what, four to five minutes? before the intermission ends on the broadcast here for Ryzen 44. So let's quickly uh, just take a look at the uh, next week's card. We might as well. It's going to be a good one. We'll highlight the next two fighters in a moment while they're making their walkout. But let's take a look at next week's card, ladies and gentlemen. It should be a fun one, like I said. I mean, for me, it's like I don't even care who's on it. If it's a Ryzen card, you know. Sakibara, Sun, and Co. are going to make it entertaining. And it's going to be in a cage. Rise in Landmark 6. 10 a.m. there, Melly. That's perfect timing. That's perfect timing. I'd rather wake up early than go to bed. I'm, I'm not going to be going to bed until like 10 a.m. Well, actually, that's that's a very big exaggeration. Definitely buying next week's card, and I can't even pronounce their names. Am I right? Exactly that. Uh, Joe Hogan, thank you so much for continuing uh, to stick around here tonight, buddy. Appreciate you, guys. Keep the comments coming if you uh, if you if you want. If if you're not shy, I mean, it's easier for me to interact to stay awake <laughs> rather than look up cards for the following week. No, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I've definitely got like the caffeine jitters. I've been nonstop drinking co coffee for about, shoot, 15 hours. So that crash is going to be fun. But uh, no, uh, definitely tired, but but not fading. Not fading yet here, folks. Not fading yet. All right, so this is next week's card. 13 fights. Oh, 13 MMA bouts, two kickboxing bouts. No belts on the line. Two guys with a ton of experience. Uh, Yuki Ito, I've seen him fight a couple times before. Uh, da, 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 da. Two big heavyweights with not a lot of experience. That one should be interesting. An 8 and 10 guy? I mean, I, I just want to see this fight to see who the hell this guy is. Um, We got... A Slovak on the card. Oh, this one should be good. Rogero Bontorin. Oh, this one, honestly, this one as well will be a good fight. Oh, Igor Tanabe is fighting again. Jiu-Jitsu guy. Hey, I, again, I don't even care who these guys are. I'm excited for this one. And we got two kickboxing fights too. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Genji. Genji's still fighting. Are you serious? Damn. I remember uh, I watched this. Uh, Hiroki Suzuki uh, beat him in that last fight. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Anyways, two kickboxing fights. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right. The intermission is over, ladies and gentlemen. Time to get to 
our featured fight of the night, I guess. Spike Carlisle against Yoshinori Hori. Yoshinori Hori. What a tremendous name. Are they going to make the... What announcement are they making now? Well, there's a lot of ring card girls. I didn't realize how many of them there were. One, two, three. There's 10 ring card girls. No, I'm not complaining. Hello? Not complaining at all? Uh, no problem, man. Been sub since Guru Rated. Appreciate you, buddy. That's awesome. Who do I have winning the last three fights? All right, let's take a look at this one. Let's highlight this next fight here. Uh, we got Spike Carlisle, the Alpha Ginger up against Yoshinori Hori. I just love that name. And I can't believe you're doing this. This is how much I love the chat. Stefan is literally distracting me from what's going on right now in front of us. So, Stefan. <laughs> look what you're doing to me. Taking my eyes off all these women. Spike Carlisle, the Alpha Ginger, 14 and 5 as a pro. He is 3 and 2 in his last five fights. He's in San Diego, California, 30 years of age. And he's got some good wins on his resume. Fought in a ton of good promotions as well. Oh, sorry about this. Tapology just, they're tripping out. Now. Six KO TKO, seven submissions, one decision, one and two in the UFC, one and one in Bellator, one and one in Ryzen, two and O oh in LFA. Lost Roberto De Souza in his last fight, no shame there. Unanimous decision, so De Souza didn't sub him. Lost to AJ McKee. He went the distance with AJ McKee as well, no shame there. Before then was on a streak, a five fight win streak 13 and two, 15 and six, 34 and eight, and five and three. A loss to Billy Quarantillo, Bill Algio in the UFC. I mean, no shame in that. A decent resume, decent resume. And actually had some fights as an amateur as well where he went 9-5. and five. Look at Yoshinori Hori, the rising star. Dude, like, it just never ends. Woman, woman after woman after woman here. This is a beautiful thing. Uh, Yoshinori Hori, the rising star. My bad, bro. Yeah, Stefan. <laughs> Wrong time to ask. But that's okay. That's okay. I got one eye. I got one eye. I got one eye creeping. I mean, watching. Uh, Yoshinori Hori, rising star. 12 and 4. 3 and 2 in his last five fights. He did lose his last fight. 28 years old. Just not as much experience, especially against a higher level competition than that of Spike Carlisle. Uh, six KO, two KO, zero submissions, six decisions, three and one in Ryzen, zero and one in the UFC. Okay, so he had one fight in the UFC. In between, was, I wonder if it was like a short notice call, but in between uh, Pancrase appearances, he lost to Hakeem Dawoodu. After that, beat a 17 and 12 guy, 13 and 10. He lost to. That's a bad loss. Wait, what the heck is going on here? Oh my goodness. All right, I'm into it. It's like a cheerleading uh, dance set going on. Dude, we came back out of break for the, yeah, at the right time. And you guys asked me why Ryzen is an awesome promotion to watch. What did I miss? Activate A. You came back at the perfect time. You came back at the perfect time. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. <laughs> Where was I? Where was I? Uh, yes, highlighting uh, Yoshinori Hori. 
So a Pancrase guy. Pancrase guy has some decent wins. Or has a few good wins on his uh, resume here. Uh, five and two when he was only four and oh. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. Spike Carlisle. Easy money. The, the one in the blue is just a little like too into it, if that makes sense. And in like a see like like yellow, she's pretty into it too, but but in like the right way. Whereas the one in the blue is just like she, or the darker blue just going ham. And here I never thought I'd be doing live commentary and play by play for freaking this <laughs> but yeah shout out to yellow she's the best one um so i used to be really really i wasn't super high on ryzen's ring card girl kids after after seeing them in action i'm coming around Where are my glow sticks? Uh, yeah, Stephen, we did one earlier today, buddy. Dude, we did uh, five and a half hours of Bellator streaming, three and a half hours of UFC streaming, and now we're streaming all night rising, baby. Wow. Okay, so uh, we're, we're, we're going to the next fight here, just like that. But yeah, Steve, uh, Stephen, Stephen, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. We stream... All fight promotions, all combat sports, every single week and weekend, my man. I freaking love this promotion. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. It really is. All right, so uh, co-main event of the evening, 22 and 10, deep former deep champion against Hagarwa, who's 7 and 7. Ooh. Leaning towards Ushiku in this one. And then in the main event of the evening, it's uh, it's not even close. We got Quigga Erps taking that one. I will take the odds uh, in a sec here. Love the cold opens again, guys, like we say. Uh, okay, let's take, check out the odds here. Um, so Spike Carlisle is the pretty big favorite, minus 300 on Bet Online, minus 275 on Betway, minus 350 on Bovada, and minus 270 on my bookie. Yoshinori Hori, plus 240, plus 210, plus 250, plus 215 on Betline, Betway, Bovada, and my bookie, respectively. Uh, I'd love it, bro. I'm definitely going to be watching some of your stuff. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Uh, we all, we also post um, like MMA news reaction videos, commentary videos on the channel as well. Uh, so check it out. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're a subscriber. There's a little something for everyone on our channel. We post vlogs as well. I was just at LFA yesterday, actually, and uh, I was filming... Um, I was filming some vlog content, so I'm going to be posting that next week. But uh, appreciate the support, buddy. All right, last three fights on the card coming up. Oh. I'm just going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. And, Sp and Spike Carlisle, he's a pretty big uh, lightweight as the American. I'm, I'm interested to see his walkout too because he goes like full Japan with his walkouts. Cosplay and all. Okay, Yoshi Yoshinori Hori, he's out of the blue corner. Dude, Lene Hart is just 
fucking awesome. Dude, she's so good. He oh she holy. Or making his lightweight debut, usually a featherweight. Okay, good to know. Let's go, Spark Carla. Spike. Spike might be nearly impossible to finish. That AJ McKee fight was rough. Yeah, he got he got beaten up in that one. Dude, I think his uh, his entrance that was Lena Hart's best of the night. <laughs> Yoshi Nori. That was awesome. Uh, Yoshinori Hori getting checked by the cut man before he enters the ring. Again, interested to see, excited to see Spike Carlisle's uh, entry get up, we'll say. You know what I should have did in the intermission is I should have grabbed my roller and rolled out a bit i've been sitting for a long time today oh all right fighters enter the ring we're waiting for spike carlisle to make his walk now big shout out to the exclusive members still in the live chat here activate a grave digger jones i think you guys might be the only two left appreciate you guys Oh, right, here we go. Spike's making his walk out. What's the song? Okay, he's in some sort of costume. Dude, like, how pumped would you get if Leonard Hart's reading out your name and you're walking out? Is it freaking Donald Duck? Oh my goodness, it's another onesie. And he's doing a kata as he walks out. It's a red October. <laughs> What's up, Jason? Do you listen to Amy Winehouse? Uh, I did. Uh... Oh, that's the song. That's the song. Okay, thanks. Um, I don't like. I didn't own her record, but like, I I know some of her songs. Good morning, Foul One, dude. It's been awesome. The first fight on the card, especially, was the best fight of the day. Uh, first tournament in Albania. Foul One is our third exclusive member in the chat right now. Then another tournament, wait. Wait, did he change his getup? I swear he was in a different onesie here. Now he has a... I have no idea who he is. He's some sort of samurai in a... Canadian tuxedo. Or not Canadian tuxedo. I was like, just there's a little bit of plaid on there. Anyways, the pageantry of Japanese MMA. He's definitely not the first to do this. And Spike Carla loves uh <laughs> loves the entertainment factor of this promotion. He's doing Kingdom Hearts. I called it. That makes sense with the, uh, oh, yep, that makes sense. Dressing up as Sora. Good call there, Grave Digger Jones. This is a Sean Strickland nightmare. That is comment of the night. That's comment of the night, dude. Uh, foul one, though. Like, dude, you have to watch the first fight on the card. You got to find it somewhere. It, it, it was amazing. 
Is Spike Carlo going to wear shoes in the ring? I'm pretty sure you're allowed. Manel Cap did. Here's the thing, you guys. <laughs> Let me tell you about Kingdom of Hearts. Wearing cosplay to an MMA fight. All right, Spike Carlisle just got checked on or about to get checked on by the cut man before entering the ring. Excited for this one. Two more fights after this, ladies and gentlemen. Ushiku versus Harigawa. And then the main event against, or the main event featuring Erps and Kanehara. And again, they have spikes fought everywhere, man. UFC, Bellator, ton of regional shows, LFA. And here he is. Big smiles. Happy to be back in Ryzen. Oh, crap, you're right. Imagine Son fighting in Ryzen and fight against Spike. It's like polar opposites. Uh, better hope Spike doesn't lose. He'll blame the outfit. <laughs> Who, what, what is this, Deontay Wilder? Do you guys see the outfit that um, AJ McKee walked out in, in the first Bellator versus Ryzen in New Year's? So sick, the samurai uniform. All right, fighters about to be announced in the ring, and we'll get to the, this featured fight of the night. Are right, Yoshinira Hori's being announced first? And Hori making his debut at lightweight here. Uh, according to Activate A, thank you for that tidbit. <laughs> Hori Yoshinori. All right, and Spike Carlisle being announced now. Doing his stretches as he enters. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Featured fight of the night. Uh, hope so. Waiting on the last three favorites. Oh, they didn't touch gloves. They didn't touch gloves. All right, guys. Round one coming up next here. Let's get it all. All right. Round one has begun. Four minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick for Carlisle. Oh, Yoshi with an inside low low kick. Carlo tried to return the favor. Ooh, they each land a kick. Carlo trying to land an axe kick. Four minutes and ten seconds. Inside low kick again by Yoshinori. Ooh, and a right hand there by Yoshinori Hori. Looking to land that inside leg kick again, doesn't. Carla pressuring Hori there, looking for the takedown, and he grabs that left leg. Spike Carlisle. Looking for the single leg.
Jason Anderson, holy moly. What you going off about? Three minutes and 26 seconds on the clock here. Carlo desperately going for the takedown. Carla looking to trip that right leg of Jorge as he has that left leg right now. He needs to trip that right leg out and drag him back. Carlisle continuing to fight for the takedown. Now he's pushing Hori into the corner. Referee's calling for some action. Referee might separate them, and he does. Two minutes and 40 seconds, ref separates them. Oh, so Carla got hit with a left when he threw that kick. How are you looking good thus far? Oh, a straight left there by Hori again. A right hand by Hori. Outside low kick by Hori. He's looking good. Left by Hori. He's picking apart Spike Carlisle. Oh, nice body kick by Hori. Spark, Spike Carlisle said it was low. I don't know. That, that didn't look low to me. What do you guys think? All right, so two minutes and six seconds on the clock. You're going to look at the replay. So it did hit the body, but the heel, the heel, I guess, caused the cup to move down. Okay, we're back at it. We're back at it. Two minutes on the clock. Oh, dude, Yoshinori Hori threw a nice right hand there. Left by Carlo. Carlos trying to set up the takedown. One minute and 45 seconds. There it is again, fighting for that left single leg. Oh, almost grabbed both of them to pull them out now, but it has the body lock. Does Carlisle good job of fighting the hands though by Hori? Carlisle's having a hard time taking him down. Uh, probably in an hour. There's one more fight after this until that one starts. One minute on the clock in this first round. And Spike Carlisle desperately trying to get that. Left single leg, trying to pull Hori off the corner. Now going for the double leg. Trying to drag Hori off away from the corner. Knees to the back of Hori by Spike Carlisle. Oh. Ozan, it's still going on right now, guys. It's still going on. 19 seconds on the clock. It's like Carlos still trying to go for the takedown. And the ref separates him again. This ref's been quick to it. I like that. Oh, a nice straight left by Hori. Hori's getting the better of Spike Carlisle in the striking. And that is it for the first round. Yeah, I got Yoshinori Hori. Looking better thus far in this fight. Let me know your thoughts. He's landing the better shots on the feet. Stuffing the takedowns. No, he's looking good. He's looking good. As the pretty big underdog. Oh, straight left jab. And making his lightweight debut. I mean, no, great job for Yoshinori Hori. Again, let me know your thoughts on this fight in the live chat, folks. We're totally interactive here. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Vote in the poll question. Subscribe to the channel. 
We do live fight companions every single weekend. We do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. Huh. We have been streaming for almost 24 hours. Not like straight, but like I woke up, prepped the stream. I guess not 24 hours, more, more so like 15 hours, but still, folks. Thank you all for joining. You all are awesome. Round two. Let's get it all. And Carla already looking for the takedown. Oops. There we go. Four minutes and 43 seconds on the clock. Carla with a body kick. Straight left by Hori. Oh, and a right by Hori. Well, I tried to go for the leg kick. Hori got out of the way. Oh. Low kick by Hori. On her left by Carlisle. Two counters and a right and a knee. Those look like they hurt Hori. Hori's pushing Carlisle into the corner now. Ref warns Carlisle not to land shots in the back of the head because Hori's pushing him up against the corner and Carlisle's throwing shots. But they are landing in the back of the head. Carla with some nice hooks there to rock Hori a little bit. Three minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. And now Hori's the one pushing Spark Carla. I'm going to get you. I love this ref. Quick separation. Oh, a nice left to the body there by Hori. Spike Carlisle. Nice knee. Carlisle lands a knee and a right hand. Carlisle lands a knee and a right hand. Carlisle trying to go for the takedown. Carlisle, relentless pressure. But can't get the takedown. Now switching to double leg. Now switching to grabbing the body. Now maybe looking just for a Back kick. Had a hook in. Great job by Hori here with the takedown defense. Yeah, sorry guys that I'm whispering. It's 428 a.m. right now where I'm at. So my roommates are sleeping. I don't want to wake them up. And ref separates him again. Stands him back up. Oh, Carlisle looks tired. Carlisle looks tired, and Yoshinori Hori looks like he's good to go. Stepping forward, a nice right hand by Carlisle. Oh, and a left by Carlisle. Spinning back his attempt by Carlisle doesn't land. Body kick there by Hori. Oh, and a nice shot there by Hori. Spike Carlisle trying to go for that takedown again, pushing Hori into the corner. Not a lot of activity here. Oh, an elbow there by. Yoshinori Hori. Still being pushed into the corner is Hori. Spike Carlisle looking for that takedown, but the official might separate them soon here. And he does. One minute and ten seconds left. Spike Carlisle wearing a little bit of damage, a little cut on top of his nose. Nice straight left there by Yoshinori Hori. He's been able to split the guard of Spike Carlisle. Pretty much his entire fight thus far. Nice low kicks by Hori. Desperately going for the takedown again to Spike Carlisle. Doesn't want to trade with Hori. Spike still going for that takedown, man. 33 seconds on the clock. Knees on the ground for Spike. He's hunched over. Crouched over, I should say. Trying to grab those legs or secure body lock. 24 seconds on the clock. A 
15 seconds. Hori with a few rights. Spike reversing to a back take. Lands a couple shots. And that's it for the second round. Third and final round, not good body language by Spike Carlisle. Spike Carlisle. Is he going to puke? It almost looks like he's about to puke. Spike Carlisle, he's tired, man. He's tired. What a pace to this fight, though. The one on screen, buddy. Spike Carlisle, Yoshinira Hori. Uh, Yoshinira Hori, I think. Like, stuffing every single one of the takedowns. Landing some good shots on the feet. Good body kick there. Yeah, I think Hori's winning. This is a big third round. If Hori can look like he did in the first and second, then he's definitely going to secure this one. Nice, Jason. All right, third and final round. Let's get it all. And a nice right hand and a left by Carlisle. And he's looking for the underhooks. Four minutes and 41 seconds on the clock here. And Yoshinori Hori pushing Spike Carlisle up against the corner. Four minutes and 19 seconds. Jogging for position in the clinch here are both these fighters. Hori pushing Carlisle up against the ropes. Carlisle reverse, knee to the body. Pushing Hori up against the corner now. Three minutes and 56 seconds. Yeah, I don't know why the ref separated them when, when Carl or no, Spike Carlisle was throwing knees in that exchange. I do like the quick separations, but the guy's throwing knees to the body. Oh, nice left there by Spike Carlisle. Carlisle going for the takedown and back take, and he finally, finally drags Hori to the ground. Can Hori stay there? Hori gets right back up to his feet, and Spike Carlisle. With the back take, full on back, full on backpack. Spike Carlisle with the full on backpack. He's looking for the choke. Spike Carlisle is looking for the choke. Three minutes on the clock in this third round. Their heads are stuck in the ropes. Two minutes and 52 seconds on the clock here. And Spike Carlisle going full backpack, looking for that rear naked choke. Great news, yes indeed. Two minutes and 32 seconds. Smart by Yoshinori Hori, planting his face right in the corner, making it hard for Spike Carlisle to get any hooks under his chin here. Spike might just have to pull him backwards, dude, and just fall onto the mat. And Spike Carlisle landed a ton of shots on the back of the head of Hori, and the ref called timeout. Yeah, there were a ton of shots there to the back of the head. Look at the replay here. What a savage, dude. Just straight up hammer fist. I know a few of them he's probably trying to land to the side, but... Two minutes on the clock and Spike Carlisle not doing himself any favors. 
Unless he wanted a rest. Then he is doing himself a favor. Hori talking to the doctor right now. Says he's good to go. Indeed. Okay, Hori's going to keep fighting, but I, I highly doubt they're going to give Carlisle back that position. Carlisle saying, no, I hit the side. Carlisle gets a yellow card. Carlo has to get the finish now. He has to get the finish or he's going to lose this fight. All right, we're back at it. Knee by Carlisle. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. Carlisle with the left. Carlisle with the right. Carlisle just throwing bombs on the entry. Nothing landed, though. Carlos steps in with a knee and misses. A right hand by Carlo. And Carlo going for the takedown again, dude. There's one minute and 22 seconds in this fight, and you're about to lose if you don't get a finish. Why are you going for the takedown, Spike? Struggling even get... Struggling to even grip a single leg. He finally does now. Man, I'm impressed with Yoshinori Hori tonight. He's looking damn good. Great takedown defense. 50 seconds left in this third round. Spike Carlisle caught crotch sniffing here. Thirty one seconds on the clock. Yeah, they definitely aren't ideal. Especially when you have guys who, you know, fight like Spark uh Spike Carlisle, who fight like that guy from one championship who I will say, quite frankly, the guy who uh was from one champion, he used the corner to his advantage, but yeah, definitely not ideal in this fight. Nice left. And they land some shots at each other right at the end of the round. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be fun to see Ryzen in a cage uh, next week. Yeah, activate a at the landmark event. And that's it for the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Even without the yellow card, I had Yoshinori Hori winning. Now, mind you, mind you. By Carlo might might have submitted submitted him in that scenario if it was never uh, broken up there. I just think overall Yoshinori Hori outstruck him, and I think it was pretty evident. Spike looked gassed. Yeah, he did look labored and slow slower in the third round, but uh, props to Yoshinori Hori, man. He looked good, crisp and clean in his striking. Was able to stuff and all the takedowns to keep this pretty much all the takedowns and keep this fight on the feet the fighters are talking to each other now looks like the yeah it looks like they're respectful shaking hands all right official announcement praying for robbie all right we're listening in Unanimous decision for Yoshinori Hori, ladies and gentlemen. I know that busted a lot of people's parlays. I know that hurt a lot of people's bets in the live chat. But a well-earned victory from Yoshinori Hori. I'm sorry, Melly. 
emotional damage. We have reached the combing event next, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> Facts. I guess it's only darkness for Spike. Hey, it wasn't the worst performance. It wasn't the worst performance. I just... We just know what Spike Carlisle is going to bring. And it's that. I thought the pressure would would uh would be i thought the pressure would crack hori at one point but no hori remained so calm so cool so collected and stuck to his game plan so credit to him <laughs> and he's happy with the win as he should be great job great job all right he's given the mic he's given the mic All right, so he's just addressing the audience right now. Uh, we're going to highlight this next fight in just a moment. I'm just going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Again, appreciate every single one of you who are joining us live here. You all are amazing. Smash that like button if you haven't already. And don't forget to vote in the poll, in the poll question as well. Oh, it was a good fight. I was making a Kingdom Hearts reference. Ah, gotcha. All right, I want to take a quick break. I'm going to go drain the main vein and fill up my water bottle for the last two fights here. Co-main event. Co-main event. Next, followed by the main event. We are here for live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction. Sorry, I'm whispering. It's freaking 5 a.m. It's freaking 5 a.m. right now. Two more fights left on the card. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
And we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. We're keeping the volume levels low right now because it is freaking 5 a.m. And my roommates are still asleep. We have two more fights left on this amazing Ryzen 44 card. Big shout out to everyone who has joined us all day. Bellator, UFC, and now an amazing Ryzen card as well what is up Jaden? it's great to see you need a 10-hour version it's 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 actually a preloaded song in this program i use but it's awesome it is titled feeding the ducks so there you go there you go so an mma glad you're still here buddy by the way big shout out to kohi uh hagiwara for walking out to don't forget about Dre. Oh no, sorry, next episode. What am I saying? Next episode. Yo, I, honestly, I, I think I'm just going to pick him to win because he walked out to Dr. Dre in Japan. I mean, I think that's a... I, I don't think it's... I, don't, I wouldn't say that far, Jaden. I will say that in the rules of Muay Thai, Superlek won, but Rod Tang won the fight. You know what I mean? Street rules, Rod Tang wins. Muay Thai rules, Superlek won, dude. Because how it works, if it's a draw, um, the fight is given to the guy who had the most knockdowns. And because there was only one knockdown, and it was a draw. That's how they scored it. Or I guess it wasn't even a draw. It was a unanimous decision. But if it would have been a draw anyways. Because they had two rounds going to Super Luck. Which was what? Round one and two. No, two and three. Two and three. Because he had two with the knockdown and three with the pressure. Put it this way. All the Muay Thai fans and like the Muay Thai hardcores that, that I interact with. 
they they all were like super like one should be draws broad tang impressed me he he looked really good in that fight and i and i'm pretty critical of him um just because like it's no joke that in towards the end of 2022 he kind of took his foot off the gas um i'm a big super like fan though so it sucked to see him miss weight uh by that much and even liam harrison came out saying that like this guy just doesn't you know doesn't know anything about nutrition uh rotting almost killed him in the first that was a nice step in elbow i'm still riding it. super like uh my my favorite muay thai fighter uh, to the that I've seen thus far, but hey, the the uh, the rematch is going to happen. Shotri's booking it for um, one championship, one sixty five in Qatar, and he said he's personally going to get super like a nutritionist, so he's going to make weight, and then they're also going to book Takeru versus Rod Tang later, probably sometime in twenty twenty four in Japan. So yeah, very exciting stuff there. Very exciting stuff. And it's crazy. Um, because Superlek was talking about maybe retiring soon. And everyone's like, you're 27 years old. And it's like, the guy's been fighting for 19 years and he's 27 years old. How crazy is that? The ties are built different, man. The ties are built different. I think Superlek will be better in the rematch. It's going to be awesome. Um, Super Bon and Alazov, they're kickboxers though, aren't they? I don't think Alazov does Muay Thai. I mean, he probably did some Muay Thai, but he's, he's, Alazov's like the best kickboxer in the world. Super Bon's awesome too, though. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. Kickboxing with Takeru. Uh, this week's one card looks good. All female fights. And hey. Stamps on the card, you know I'm watching. All right, second fighter making his way to the ring. No, this weekend should be good because there's no UFC. There's going to be a, another rising card, one championship. This is, is there Friday fights also? Is there one championship Friday fights also this week? Gonna skip that one. Your loss. Missing out on all that bunda. All right, fighters being announced in the ring. I'm too much of a junkie. I can't stop injecting all this MMA. So I'm 100% gonna watch. I got not. I got nowhere else to be. I got nothing else to do in my life but watch uh, watch MMA. I guess I could work. But that's no fun. That's no fun. Uh, Ush Ushiku, the fighting bull, 22, 10, and 1 as a pro. He's 28 years old. <laughs> Terrible name for Jim. Terrible name for Jim. Uh, 7 KO, TKO, 0 submissions, 15 decisions, 2 and 2 in Ryzen, 13, 7, and 1 in Pancrase, and 6 and 1 in Deep, where he was the champion. Lost to six and ten and three, thirty and five. Oh, uh, clever quick kick, herbs beat him. Also twenty six. I mean, not bad. He went on four fight win streak. He beat us twenty and six, eight and three, twenty and four, thirty and nineteen. He probably look. These two were good wins. These two weren't. Um, looking at his opponent, Kyohi Hagiwara, who walked out to uh, next episode. He's a certified G in my book. Five KO, TKO, zero submissions, two decisions. And uh, yeah, it hasn't looked too good as of late. I'm going with the deep champion. I'm going with Ushiku. All right, fight has begun. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. What a nice right hand there. Bye. Ushiku. Trying to walk him down those Hagiwara.
Four minutes and 25 seconds on the clock here, guys. Stepping in with the feint there was Ushiku. Straight body kick was Hagigawa. Looking for the takedown is Ushiku. Bouncing off the ropes is Hagigawa. Back up to their feet. Yeah, that's the one that stamps on. You're going to watch the Canelo card? Uh, probably. How can you respect Super like after missing weight by so much? It's straight up cheating. Dude, because Rod Tang did it all the time too. So now Rod Tang's a saint because he never missed weight either. Dude, Rod Tang literally like took 2020, the second half of 2022 off. And he ran away from Superlek because he couldn't, because uh, he was having, or because he was lazy and, and uh, a little overweight as well. And then two weeks later, took a fight against a can on a two-day training camp. I mean, if we're going to even the playing field here, we shouldn't have respect for either of them. Yet, I got respect for both of them, and Superlek's my favorite Muay Thai fighter. Sounds like straight up how. Two minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. And we got Harry Gower pushing Ishiku up against the corner right now and pulling some good old foot stomps. What's up, foul one? And by the way, guys, it was Rod Tang's camp that turned down the five rounds in the non-title fight. Superlex camp said, we'll do it. And there's going to be a rematch, so there we go. Oh, and cut right on his left, next to his left eye. Ushiku is cut. Two minutes on the clock. Ooh, a nice left there by Ishuku. Overhand right by Ishuku doesn't land clean. Ooh, knee to the body there on Ishuku by Hagigawa. Inside low kick by Hagigawa. Inside low kick by Ishuku. Or Ishiku. Good high guard there by Habigawa. Some of those explosive hook shots by Ushiku aren't landing clean. Oh, if it went five rounds, Rod Tang was going to win. And I think I said that live to you a few times. Good point, Joe. One minute on the clock in this first round. I'm stoked that one's bringing back the numbered cards, by the way. And 165 in Qatar, that'll be that'll be crazy. 45 seconds on the clock here. Pressuring Ushiku on the outside into the corner now is Hagigawa. Oh, what a nice left hook. A left hook by Ushiku on the step, and then he rocked Hagigawa. Didn't drop him, but rocked him. Hagigawa still moving forward. Oh, nice left by Hagigawa. And Ishiku with the inside low kick. Oh, what the heck was that? Like trying to go for like a spinning heel kick or something? Right at the bell. Oh, that was badass. Right at the bell, Ushuki threatened a soccer kick. Like, don't play with me, motherfucker. I will end you. <laughs> Round two coming up. How one, you missed it, by the way. You missed it. How one. You still there? I, I need confirmation that you're still there because or else I'm going to be talking into the void here. You you missed you missed the best part of the show. 
Uh, the fight never happened, dude. The fight got canceled. Round two coming up here, folks. Let me know your thoughts on the fight. I have Ushiku winning this one. I think despite the cut, he's landing the better shots. And he did rock Hali, uh, Hagigawa a couple times. Let me know your thoughts, though, because he is wearing more damage. All right, round two. Let's get it all. Same game plan mirrored by Hagigawa. He's the one applying the pressure. Overhand left by Ushiku. Then he gets the takedown. Ryzen, the only promotion where an ex-champ can have a competitive fight with a guy with nearly a negative record, entertaining promotion, but just makes no sense. Yeah, what is matchmaking? Is Shiku now looking to set up the arm triangle? Well, I was saying activate uh Erps like lost his title because he missed weight, right? Then he wins that fight against Suzuki and they book a title fight with him not even in it. Or abandoning the arm and triangle choke looking for the back take now is Ushiku Bagigawa back up to his feet here. Ushiku trying to take him back down to the ground. Trying to pull Hagigawa off the corner here is Ushiku. Ushiku gets in a right hook. Excuse me. Three minutes on the clock. And going for the backpack and doesn't get a good job there by Hagigar for swiping away those feet. That right hook's money. What's up, Mr. Grant? Bless you. Thank you. Still trying to drag Hagigar to the ground and Ushuku tried to throw a left there, but good read by Hagigar. They separate. And Hagi Gara trying to throw some combos here. Doesn't land. I'm trying to land that right hook again. Knee to the body there by Ushiku. Trying to take away space. Is Hagi Gawa here continuing to stalk Ushuku? Two minutes on the clock. Looking for that single leg takedown is Ushiku, and he gets it and pushing Hagigawa right into the corner. Hagigawa looking to get back up to his feet, but Ushiku sweeping. One minute, 35 seconds. Ushiku pushing Hagigawa up against the ropes here, now getting his back to the ground, getting the full mount. Oh, no, wait, is it half guard? I thought it was full mount there for a sec. No, it's, it's, it's full mount, dude. Ushiku is full mount. One minute and ten seconds on the clock. He's got to posture up and land some shots or, or some elbows here. One minute to work. Yeah, don't go for like the arm triangle. Choke. Just keep landing some big shots here. Let's see if he can posture up. 45 seconds on the clock. Right hand by Ushiku. There's a right elbow. 
30 seconds. Twenty one seconds. Oh, and a nice left elbow there by Ushiku Hagiawa. Didn't like that. Final ten seconds. Full on back take, but not enough time to work to try to get that choke. Great way to end that round, though. Great way to end that round for Ushiku. And that is it for the second round. Third and final round coming up next year, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if Hagigawa can come back in this one. I think Ushiku so far is winning this fight, but we'll see how this third round plays out. Again, appreciate every single one of you joining us here. You all are amazing. I can't believe that a good chunk of you, uh, most of you, have stuck around this entire stream. Seriously, you guys are awesome. If you haven't already, smash that like button, vote in the poll question, and subscribe to the channel. Super Bonds fighting for the Muay Thai belt, by the way. Wasn't it postponed? Uh, Ushiku been training at American Top Team in Muay Khan. Oh, really? Nice. All right, round three. What? I just know Alizov is kickboxer because he was pound. He was pound for pound in the world kickboxer. I figured Super Bon uh, had a Muay Thai background, but not Alizov. And already taking this fight to the ground, half guard. Right now, Ushiko in the top position. Dude, I can't wait. Uh, Jay Herbo, one of the subscribers on the channel, he's like a huge fan of Superbon. Dude, I'm I'm so excited. I yeah, I love one championship. I love Muay Thai. I love kickboxing, and there's so many good fights coming up. Yeah, October seventh. That's what two weeks. Three minutes and fifty two seconds on the clock. Still working in half guard is Juntaro Ushiku. And now looking to get the back, and he does. Beautiful, beautiful reversal to get the back. Beautiful reversal to get the back. The body, uh, the body triangle is secured. And Hagigao is trying to roll out of this. Pound for pound, baby. Back mount here. Now getting back up to his feet is Hagi Gower, but straight up back is Ushiku. Nice, this should be a win for sure. Oh yeah. He's just beating him in all areas. I think he's out. He's looked better than him in the striking. He's been able to take him down. He's been able to Try to work some submissions, and now he's going for the choke. No, good job fighting the hands by Hagigawa. Two minutes and 36 seconds. Man, we talked about the UFC guys talking about, like, here comes the sweet squeeze, or it's a tight squeeze. These announcers are talking about squeeze before the choke is even sunk in. That first round annoyed me. He didn't look great. Yeah, starting to put it together in the second and third, though. But again, he's going up against a guy with like a 500 record. He, <laughs> he should be annihilating him. Two minutes on the clock. Is he going to put him away? Ushiko backpack on Hagigara right now, trying to soften him up to sink in that rear naked choke.
One minute and 42 seconds. Third and final round, main event of the evening next, by the way. Still looking for that choke. Again, Ushiku, straight up backpack on Hagigawa. Hagigawa is on his feet. Ushiku trying to set up a rear naked choke. Some right hands to the head. Still can't get that right arm under the chin. Good job fighting the hands, though, by Hagigawa. One minute left in this third round. Forty five seconds. And again, so this has been almost two minutes of Hagigawa trying to, or sorry, uh, Ushiku trying to submit Hagigawa. Twenty five seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. Talk about control time. Ten seconds left. And landing a few more shots there from the backpack is that of Ushiku, and it is all over. This goes the distance, and I imagine Ushuku will take this one unanimous decision. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you said it activated. First round wasn't the greatest by Ushiku, but he really started to put it together in the second and third and displayed an array of mixed martial arts. was Decent striking in the second and his grappling clearly uh, is his bread and butter. Except he couldn't submit him. All right, we're going to the unanimous decision. I have it for Ushiku, and we're listening in now. And there you have a unanimous decision. Genaro Ushiku. Genaro Genaro Ushiku unanimous decision victory in the co-main event of the evening. Yeah, took the over. Maybe he was just playing a bit on the feet. Perhaps. Perhaps. Interesting way to announce the judges' scorecard. And there you have it, folks. Co-main event. It's a wrap. Yes. Yes, he did. What's up, Game and Sub? Yes, he did. And he looked damn good doing it. And he looked damn good doing it. All right. Main event of the evening coming up here, folks. And again, brilliant matchmaking. Brilliant matchmaking. <laughs> a little tongue-in-cheek, little tongue-in-cheek. All right, going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here. And then we'll get right back to it. We're going to take our final break of the night here in a little bit. I literally just, I just got to grab a snack. My stomach is empty. I'm going to quickly grab a snack. Then we will dive into the main event of the evening. We will highlight both of the fighters. I will give my prediction, and then I want to hear yours. We'll stay on a little bit longer here. Until these guys are all out of the cage. Oh, I meant ring. Until next week. Then cage.
All right, main event of the evening next. Tamirov with the KO. Dude, that fight, game and slap. I don't know if you watched that fight or not. That was the best fight of the day in any of the promotions. It was unbelievable. Oh, thank you, Jason. It would be cool to see Alizov pull a Pereira and flatlining people in MMA. That would be good. That would be good. That would be fun to see. How many more fights do you think Alizov has in him? I mean, I think he has a lot in him, but before he just hangs him up. Uh, he is... How old is he? 26. Hey, he's giving a shout out to ATT right now uh, in the in the ring. Uh, I have a walk. Where are you from, Jason? I'm curious. I don't know, but how many fights does he have? He has a lot of fights, right? It's like super like he's only 27, but he's been fighting for 19 years. <laughs> Um, anyways, I, I read an article that was suggesting that like he may be, you know, maybe one or two big fights, big, big money fights, and then he might hang him up because he's pound for pound. He's the best. What is it? What is What else is there? Defending his one championship belt. And this was coming from him in the interview. So I'm just, I was just curious, uh, curious you being a, fan, a big fan of him, how many fights you, and, and like following his career, how many, how many more fights do you think he has left in him? I think if Shachi keeps putting that, putting those dollars in front of him, he'll go uh, longer than than some of these people, experts, expect. I like Ryzen, but I don't think I could do this regularly. Staying up this long over here in Europe is tough. What time is it for you? It's five eighteen a.m. for me. All right, guys, the cold open for the final fight of the card. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a hard start time for you as well. It's tough, but, uh, but worth it every time for me. I even had a pot of coffee and I passed out. Yeah, I drank a whole pot of coffee, dude. Oh. Dude, I love the, the, like the cold open for this. Straight up the cold open is just showing like how much... How much uh, Clever Creek A Herbs is just kind of a dick. <laughs> Going up against a jujitsu ace and an older fighter here, 40 years of age, on a three fight win streak right now. Hard because UFC starts at 12 for activate A. Yes, for sure. He is crazy. 61 wins. 37 KOTQs, five losses, which is really not that crazy. No, that, that really isn't. But we don't want him to fight with one foot out the door because then he's not the same Alazov. So I'm hoping he I'm hoping he sticks around for like an, another like two years at least, gets the big fights that, that he wants, put on, puts on uh a few more really good performances for us before I hear any sort of talk again about him retiring. All right, we're, we're going to highlight this main event. Let's take a look at Masonry Kanehara. 30 wins, 14 losses, 5 draws. 40 years of age. He is 4-1 and one in his last 5 fights. Oh, 
Come on, Tapology. Three and three in Sengoku Raiden Champion. Uh, three and one in Rising. One and two in the UFC. And two and zero oh in K one. Uh, beat a sixteen and eight. Four and three and twenty four and ten. So, so out of his last three wins, one of them has been. Like a really good win. The other two, eh. well, 16 and 8, eh. 24 and 10, eh. yeah, I guess two, meh. Lost Victor Henry. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, had some Muay Thai fighting or Muay Thai fights here as well, where he went one and one. He beat Alex Caceres in the UFC in 2014. That's hilarious. Yeah, he's on a three fight win streak. That's what got him the fight against this bigger name in Herbs. The former champ. But, anyways, Clever Creep Gay, Herbs, 31 wins, six losses, one draw. He is three, one, and one, one being a no contest because he missed weight. 33 years of age. Um, uh, 31 wins, 16 losses. Like I said, one. I guess that'd be one no contest. Two KO, TKO, 27 submissions for the Jiu Jitsu ace. Two decisions, one disqualification loss. Five and two in KSW, six, oh, and one no contest in Ryzen, and zero and one in Bellator. So again, no contest, even though he beat Shiro Suzuki, got him in an arm bar. He missed weight. It was a no contest. Before then, lost to Patricio Pitbull, who, funny enough, Suzuki beat Pitbull. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? Before then, beat a 22 and 8 guy, 6 and 5, 23 and 9, 14 and 2, 14 and 2. Look, decorated resume based on his submissions. And some solid wins in his career. 12 and 3, 11 and 0, 8 and 2. But anyways, I'm going with the favorite. I'm going with the favorite. He's minus 550 on Bet Online, minus 500 on Betway, minus 600 on Bovada, and minus 454 on my bookie. The 4 year old Kanahara. Plus 334 on my bookie, plus 375 on Bovada, plus 350 on Betway, plus 400 on Bet Online. Let me know your predictions in the live chat, folks. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it, man. Let's get right to it. Oops is making his walkout. I'm getting pumped. Definitely, it's rough. No time to nap without passing out the whole day. Um, I snuck in a 45-minute nap between streams. I think he's not even in his prime. Let's go. What kind of freaking walkout song is this? Uh, yes, he's half and half, I believe. I believe he's half, half Japanese. Uh, Beto saying Brazil. All right, Herb's about to make his walk out now. He's a really good submission guy, Activate A, but he's he's not like a uh, he's not like a Yiri or Cap who like champion and rising coming and who would come over to UFC and dominant. Like he he would get. He would get dummied on the feet in the UFC. Going to go with clever, quick, gay, herbs. I mean, Apex uh, Pereira is six years older than Alizov, so I think he might fight a few more kickboxing fights and then maybe try his hand in MMA for the big cash. Yeah, but like, was he cited saying that? Because he was cited saying that he's thinking about retirement.
Jason, where are you from? All right, Earp's making his way. Good morning, dude. You're stopped. We're still streaming, Leli. We're still streaming. We have not. Well, we stopped for a little bit. But main event, Ryzen 44 is now. Bro, don't stop with the combat sports, and we are being quiet today. And my roommates are sleeping. My roommates are sleeping. It's 5.26 a.m. A Poland. Nice, Jason. All right, Clever Quique Erps is making his walk to the ring. We ran down the fighters. I gave my prediction. Still up. We have not stopped, dude. We did Bellator, UFC, Ryzen, back to back to back, baby. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. We ain't stopped. I have not slept. I've just drank, and drank so much coffee. Speaking of... I got to go drain the main vein back on the other side to call this fight live. Play by play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Get your predictions in the live chat. Vote in the poll question. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. We'll be back two minutes on the other side for the main event of the evening. Ryzen 44, City Life Project YouTube channel. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. If I can find the break video, we'll be right back. There it is. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh enough to prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you want to. We can just talk if you want to. We can all hands if you want to. Rocking all the same things Say you need me but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one Hate you saying showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat Like We could be friends if you wanna We could just talk if you wanna We could hold hands if you wanna Just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh enough to prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you want to. We can just talk if you want to. We can all hands. And we are back live here in the City Life Project YouTube channel for the main event of the evening, Ryzen 44, main event of the evening. We have Kanehara against Erps. And what a card it has been, ladies and gentlemen. What a card it has been. We've been streaming for almost five and a half hours. This card started off with such high energy, amazing pace, amazing fights. And honestly, other than one more grappling-heavy fight, it's been awesome. 
A big shout out to all the exclusive members. A big shout out to everyone who's joined us throughout this entire stream. Sorry I'm whispering. It's 5.30 a.m. and my roommates are sleeping. I picked Clever Quique Herbs. That is my prediction. Let me know yours. Guys, this will be the last stream of the weekend. I do not think we'll be able to stream tomorrow. But we will be back Monday for an exclusive membership stream and then Tuesday for Dana White Contender Series. All right, both of the fighters have been announced in the ring. Let's get to it. I think he would do quite good. I think he would do quite good. Um, I, th I think he could hang with, especially at middleweight. Middleweight sucks. So he, he could probably jump in and, and hang with some of the big boys already. Uh, a legal elbow. And, uh, but Brundage was getting his ass kicked, man. He's so bad. All right, round one main event. Let's get it all. Smash that like button. Let's go. It's only going to be a matter of time before Earps takes us to the ground. Oh, a nice left hand there by Kanehara. Big left hand there by Kanehara. That hurt Earps. Four minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. Thirty seconds have gone by, and Kanehara already landed a big shot on Earps. Let's just say his theatrics were uh, were Aldo esque. Um, like it was illegal by the book, it was illegal. Um, but I think I think Cody Brenner was like, "Okay, this is going to be the only way I can ever get a UFC win on my on my resume." And hey, it's within the rules. He doesn't have, he didn't have to continue. Nice right hand there by Kanahara. That's two good shots there on Erps. Yeah, and it ruined my prediction. It ruined the parlay. It ruined a lot of people's parlays. Three minutes and 44 seconds. It was it was a weird card today. And how it ended with the Fiziev fight, it's like, oh, it just sucks. Three minutes and 34 seconds and some good shots by Kanahara in the pocket there. Herbs tried to throw a high kick there and clinch, but Kanahara landed another right. A 1-2 by Kanahara. He fought too many times, man. Ten high-level fights in two and a half years. And they were like wars, too. So it sucks because he's not even 30. But yeah, his chin's gone. But, you know, credit where credit is due to Tim Means. He's a fucking dog. Three minutes on the clock in this first round. But yeah, I ain't picking Fialdo, Fialdo to win a, a fight ever again. Not against a guy who can actually strike anyone who has knockout power. Someone like a Tim Means. Two minutes and 43 seconds on the clock. Oh, and a nice one-two by Kanahar. Kanahar is winning this fight thus far. Two minutes and 37 seconds. Looked like it was like an axe kick attempt to try to set up a clinch. And Erps having a hard time getting a hold of Kanahara here. And Erps just throwing some big shots. And they're throwing some body shots in the pocket here. Erps with the tie clinch, knees to the body. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Erps looking for the takedown and he gets it. Erps with the takedown. Full mount by Erps. Full mount by Erps. Oh, good butterfly guard now by Kanahara. And he's able to push Erps off of him. I met Polish and had Gamrot. So many people slept on him. Oh, Gitin. Gitin. He's got the Gitin sucking, guys. He's got the Gitin sucking. It's not super tight. He's only got one arm. He's trying to adjust it. Herbs lets it go. Herbs lets it go. Kanahara's in his guard. Um, I, I like Gamrot, um, but I mean, I, I kind of made my prediction from what I, what I saw in his last few fights. 
Um, I'm super high on Fiziev, and I think Fiziev's takedown defense is incredible, which we saw on display. It's just unfortunate. Like, I, I think the fight was was pretty much tied at that point, and it's just unfortunate we didn't get to see that whole fight play out, and and who would have won. So that's what sucks. It just, and it's not like that win boosts Gamrot's stock in the division much, right? Kind of like Bilal against uh, um, Burns, except. <laughs> Gamrot kind of finished Fiziev. You know what I mean? I don't know. He didn't get it, dude. He didn't get it. Kind of higher in the top position. Still in the full guard of Herbs. Wait, did Manasori prevented that chokehold? Yeah, dude, he got out of it. He got out of it. 20 seconds left in the first round. A good fight. Good main event fight to start in this first round. Oh, nice left elbow. Another left elbow by Kanahara. Final seconds, and that is it for the first round. Man, I got Kanahara winning that first round. He landed way better strikes. Though Earp's had two submission attempts. Kanahara landed way more strikes, dude. And ended in the top position. He rocked Erbs early with the left, rocked him with the right. Yeah, Erbs just scrambly guy looking for that takedown. And even just throw. Anyways, good start to the fight. Good start to the fight. And a forty-year-old, eh? he's got some, he's got some, uh, he's got some gas left in the tank. Yeah, I like battle. I, slow first round, and he did get tagged, but uh, he's got a lot of tools, and and he's a likable guy as well. Um, you can definitely see that he's taking the sport very, very seriously now. Not that he, he didn't before, but he even said in his uh, post-fight press conference that before it was like. Beat up as many people as you can and get back in there. Now it's feed my family and get back in there. You know what I mean? Drop down to 170. Looks great. Like, looks physically in great shape. And he's been knocking out guys in the UFC and submitting them. So props to him. Good first round. Aljo. Isn't that what I said? Isn't that what I said? Aljo-esque? I meant Aljo, not not. One of the greatest fighters of all time, Jose Aldo. MMA fighters. Four minutes and 23 seconds on the clock. Yeah, sorry guys, round two. I'll put the ticker back up. Ooh, body shot there by Kanara. Four minutes on the clock. And Earps pressuring Kanahara with some big, with, with basically with a right and a left there to pressure him into the corner so he could get his underhooks as Earps fights for the takedown or the trip here. Whatever way he can, whatever means necessary to get this fight to the ground. Three minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. Knees by Kanahara. Kanahara gets out of that clinch. Three minutes and 32 seconds. Herb saying, come here, come here. Dropping his hands is kind of hard. Clowning on Herb's a little bit here. He's on a three-fight win streak. And it's rising. And it's a good fight, so hey, he's delivering. Veteran of the game, too. Been a rising in Asian promotions for a while, so recognizable by the fans. Two minutes and 52 seconds on the clock. Takedown by Kanahara, but let's be honest. Erps kind of took that position. Erps is comfortable off his back. He's fine playing guard.
Yeah, but again, and, and we talked about this earlier, Jaden. So th this is actually a great example. Um, it's great because everyone was was ripping uh, was ripping myself and some of the other people who were who were excited to watch Rise in our live chat a few a uh, couple days ago, and they're like, "Oh, but look at this guy. He's a bum. Look at his record." And blah blah blah. Man, it it doesn't take away for how entertaining the card is, in my opinion. The fights are always like. Oh, there, there was one meh fight on this card, and it was only meh because it was just mostly grappling. Most of the time, the cards deliver. You see the ring card girls dance at intermission, do a whole dance set. I mean, you can't ask for anything more. Violent soccer kicks. Stomps. I don't care if a 9-9 nine and nine guy is fighting, as long as he's throwing stomps. As long as he's trying to soccer kick his opponent, as long as he puts on a show. Uh, will bets get settled once the event finishes? I have no idea, dude. No idea. One minute and 21 seconds, second round. Kind of hard in the top position. Armin MMA, he has not won yet. Fernando, what's up, Fernando? One minute on the clock, and Conor Hara, dude, he's Conor Hara is winning this fight. Conor Hara looked better in the first round. Conor Hara is looking better in this second round. Uh, again, you say bum fights without even watching the fight. The fight can still be entertaining with two guys with bad records. And again, we're not going into this with expectations to watch UFC, which I feel like you kind of are. <laughs> this promotion is an unbelievable show. Dude, I'm staying up all night. I haven't slept for 23 hours and no complaints whatsoever. This is an unbelievably entertaining show. 10 seconds on the clock. And Kanahara in the top position, laying down ground and pound in full mount here. Ten seconds left. And that's it for the second round. Unbelievable performance by the underdog, Kanahara. I know this isn't a ten-point must system, so it's not scored round by round, but if the fight ended right now, Kanahara wins unanimous decision. One more round. Let's see if Erps can find that submission. It has nothing to do with paid. They just they're real MMA. Where the North American commissions are a bunch of uh, a bunch of sissies. They soft. They're soft in North America. Japan, they want violence. North American commissions are like, mm, 12 to 6 elbows, mm, knees to grounded opponents. We're scared. Dude, Japan, they're like, just played. Third and final round. Last round on the card. Last round of this fight. Unbelievable card. Rise in 44. Let's get it home. Let's get it home. Best card of the day, hands down. Beat Bellator, beat UFC. I'm sure there was some freaking... Uh, maybe the RWS kickboxing was better. I didn't watch that one. But a nice flurry of shots there by Kanahara, who landed three shots on Erps. And now Kanahara's looking to take him to the ground, and he does. Kanahara looking for the back of Erps. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. Erps is rolling. Erps is rolling. Looking for the leg lock is Erps. Looking for the leg lock is Erps. Is he going to get it? Good scramble there by... Kanahara. Great scramble here. Now Erps is looking like he's going to end up on top. No, another scramble. Who's going to end up in the better position after this? They're still scrambling. They're still scrambling. Four minutes on the clock. Insane display of grappling in the opening minute of this round. Again, Jaden, because clearly they're entertaining, or else they wouldn't be, right, brother? 
three minutes and 40 on the clock. And they're popular in Japan or in Asia. Three minutes and 26 seconds on the clock. And again, you guys all look at the records and are like, I want to watch. Oh, I, this guy's a bum. I don't want to watch this. I don't even look at the card, dude. I see there's a Ryzen event coming. I buy it because I know it's going to be good because that's Ryzen, baby. That's how you got to look at it. Oh, it's a Ryzen event. I know it's going to be entertaining. Click buy it. I don't look at the card and go, oh, he's a bum. He's a bum. There, It's Ryzen. No one has a good record. Yet, it's unbelievably entertaining. The rule set is amazing. And they actually care about putting on real MMA displays, unlike the garbage rules in North America. Two minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. Back up to their feet is Kanahara here. And he's been dominating. I cannot believe that the underdog is putting on a performance like he is here. He's got to be on some sort of secret juice. This is unbelievable. It's not, though, because it's fighting. How can you say, how can you disrespect the athletes by saying that, Jaden? <laughs> Clearly. Calling it WWE? That's disgusting. Dude, UFC is more WWE. UFC has watered down rules. PFL has watered down rules. Bellator has watered down rules. This promotion does not. This promotion cares about the fans, dude. They, have, they may not have the best fighters. They may not have a good roster, but at least they care about putting, care about the rule set to give the fans the best viewing experience. Cite your sources, Jaden. Seriously. Cite your sources. What's up, out of Bayou? Uh, it was it was canceled. It was canceled. One more minute left in the round. One more minute left in the round. And Kanahara in the top position. But yeah, Agent, I'm not gonna like convince you to, to watch Ryzen. If you don't want to watch Ryzen, that's fine. But like it's one of my favorite promotions. You're gonna come into the Ryzen chat here and spit. Hey, obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna rebuttal. I fucking love it. It's amazing. 43 seconds left in this fight. Kanahara in the top position now. Modified half guard side control, but he's basically mounted. My source is the head of the Yakuza. I mean, I respect the humor, but that ain't a source. If you're gonna say, if you're gonna say definitely it's fixed, show me. I don't care either way. For me, how does that hamper the entertainment factor other than distract me from this entire main event? But you know what? I bit. I bit, so it's it's on me. Final 10 seconds here. And that is it. I cannot believe this. Kanahara shocking us all. I hope some of you, I hope at least one of you in the live chat bet on Kanahara. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Great display of respect here by these guys. And what what a recent fall by clever Quique Erps from being the champion to missing weight to being stripped to not being offered a title shot again to fighting Kanahara who Ryzen I don't think they thought it was a layup for him but at least thought it was going to be an easy fight and Kanahara schools him three rounds but Ryzen sucks unbelievable card man unbelievable card there was only one fight like i said that didn't really deliver and it was just mostly because it was grappling and it was high end grappling so many submission def uh defense from the predominant wrestler
this was arguably the best fight of the day. Jaden didn't even watch this fight, and he's criticizing Rise. And this was the best fight of the day. Man, unanimous. <laughs> Masanori Kanara or Kena, Kenara. I can't even pronounce the name. I'm so stoked and tired. Oh my goodness. I'm both overtired and excited because this card absolutely delivered. Just starting with this unbelievable first fight. The heavyweights went at it. Good fight there. First fight to go to the decision, but it was a war. Doctor stoppage in this one because of that crazy cut. So this was the kind of boring grappling match. Wrestler versus uh, more of a jiu-jitsu guy. Oh, this one was fun as well. Good display of mixed martial arts by the former one champion fighter. Great kickboxing match. Great kickboxing match. This guy's fucking sick. Um, you know, this wasn't the best fight, to be perfectly honest, but I was surprised with how much uh, Yoshinori Hori outstruck Spike Carlisle and was able to keep this on the feet, so credit to him. Uh, Co-main event was pretty good. This, Like we said, I, I did not think that Hagigara was going to hang with uh, Ushiku at all, and he honestly looked really good in the striking. And then an uh, absolute upset in the main event of the evening where the 40-year-old is now on a four-fight win streak and could possibly fight for the title next. Whereas Clever Kweke Erps continues, continues his downfall here. Now, it's, only, it's, it's, it's a very small downfall, but still. Highest of highs, losing the belt, and now losing to the 40-year-old Kanara. Uh, Bob Sapp has not been in Ryzen for so long. I think he's he, he fought his last fight in Ryzen, like Ryzen 20. Um, he's fighting in um, White Circus right now. Him and Rampage did that uh, twin twin boxing match. Um, wait, wait. What league was CM Punk in again? What league was CM Punk in again? Um, oh, it, it, it's neither here nor there, Jaden. See, for me, that's a red herring argument. It has nothing to do with the entertainment factor. Why can't I like? And again, sure, I'm sure it happens. That 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 red like what? And, and and furthermore, like, why are you ruining the end of this awesome streaming day for us? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Why are you shitting on this when everyone here has stayed up all fucking night? We're clearly excited about this. And you're coming here, oh, it's a shitty league. Don't watch it then, Jaden. Simple as that. And I don't even think you are watching it right now because I feel like you'd be like, oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to shit on this league, get Yishel fired up, and continue to do that, whatever. But I feel like you'd actually be about respect to some of these good fights, especially this one. Especially this one. You know what I mean? And I'll throw it back on you. You're a smart guy. You can't appreciate good fights. You can't appreciate entertainment. You can't appreciate the savagery. You can't appreciate soccer kicks. If you can't appreciate soccer kicks and knees to the ground and opponent, what kind of MMA fan are you? That's that's all I'm asking. <laughs> that's all I'm asking. <laughs> Look, man, like I said, in all seriousness, don't watch Ryzen if you don't like it, but uh, don't shit on my parade because I think it's one of the most entertaining promotions to watch, and I absolutely love it. I don't even need to look at the fight card. I'm buy I'm buying their uh, pay per view every single time, every single time. All right, is Suzuki coming into the ring? Is he gonna fight Suzuki next? No, he's just addressing the audience right now. We're just listening in, guys. By the way, uh, we're just listening into. Uh, Kinahara addressed the audience right now. He doesn't want to talk. That's funny. <laughs> he, just, he just wants to go home and eat some pizza probably. I'm going to pass out 
for 10 hours. Have a good night. Activate A. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around throughout Bellator, UFC, and Rise, and have a great night. It's entertaining, no doubt. Just rather watch top level guys. Why don't you just watch it both then? Why does it matter then if it's once a month and we're all pumped to watch it? I'm not here saying that these guys are going to be UFC fighters. I even said, I straight up said before this fight started that Quique Earps probably wouldn't, would get mauled in the UFC. I'm not arguing that it's that it's top level. I say it all the time. UFC is, is top level. Ryzen is various notches below. But I like watching it more most of the time. Nine times out of ten. Because I know the UFC is top talent there. And I know we're going to see top level fights there. But every now and then, we got to see some circus. We got to see some high level... Well, High-ish level. No, I'm going to say high level because I'm used to watching regional. I watch more regional than than UFC, right, Jaden? Um, like I went to LFA on Friday too. And the amateurs were actually my favorite fights on the card because though it was raw, they were more exciting. They were more exciting. They were just better fights. They were more savage. And, and I'm a savage. I like when people get drop kicked in the face. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's just like Wonder KSW with cans. Again, disagree. You hold the UFC to a crazy high level. Interesting. I didn't know that about you. Interesting. Uh, good night, Isha. Have a good night. I enjoy the rising card. Let's go. Clubber lost, man. Clubber lost. He lost, Armin. Clubber lost. All right, guys. That's it. We're going to bed. How many hours? I've been up for 24 hours. We've been streaming for 15. Big shout out to everyone who's joined us. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Let's get some sleep. Rise in 44 in the books. And next week, we have Rise in Landmark 6, one championship. No KSW next week, and unfortunately, I wish, I wish there was because that would have been awesome. Uh, Glory. I believe Glory's next weekend as well. No, Glory's October 7. I know Bud Harry got rebooked. But anyways, the next two weeks, there may not be a lot of UFC, but there's a ton of combat sports. LFA, Cage Fury FC. Uh, Eris is coming back very, very soon as well. Unbelievable stuff, ladies and gentlemen. You know where to find it. We are always doing live fight companions on this channel every single week. We'll be back Tuesday for Dana White Contender Series. Back tomorrow for... Monday for a membership stream. Good night, Leli. Good night, JD. Good morning. And Jaden, thank you so much for joining, buddy. Uh, hope to see you next weekend, but not on a Ryzen stream. Heavens no. Maybe on a... Or, and, and heavens no on the one championship. Uh, we'll find a stream where you can join us. We'll find a stream for you, where you can join us. Have a good one, guys. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Smash that like button if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.